So we're here with Ray, also known as Big Ray, the owner of Fruit Frenzy. So Ray, can you tell us about your truck and what makes it different from other food trucks here in LA? The important aspects of my truck is the fact that it's all fruit based. Okay. So all of our food is essentially infused with fresh seasonal fruit, Yummy. which makes us LA's only gourmet fruit truck. So let's hop on the truck and put our own spin to these fruity treats. We're going to put our own spin on Fruit Frenzy Specialty Smoothies. So he said handful means a cup, so I'm going to do a cup of three things. Well, I'm, I'm going to do some peaches. I'm going to get creative and I'm going to do all of them. Hey, hey excuse hey. me. Excuse me. I'm putting in some fat passion fruit. How much do I put in? I'm going to put in all of the flavors. You are going to have the best smoothie ever. Let's see. Oh, I need some ice too. So I've mixed all of the juices. All right, so I have peaches, strawberries, passion fruit, lemon juice, and orange sorbet. I have strawberries, peaches, pineapple, mango, mango puree, sorbet, um, or, um, orange juice, pineapple, passion fruit, and lemon. Ultimate fruit frenzy smoothie. Okay. Okay. So. Wait, top on. am I, how oh, do I put the top this, on? Like that? Okay. Top on. All right. Close the lids. Close the lids. Number two. Number two. Mine doesn't look like a nice color. Yours looks like throw up. <laughs> That's mean. <gasps> mine looks pink. That's, mine is, oh, <laughs> mine smells so good. Let's see how yours smells like. Oh. Wait, I can't it's, smell it. <laughs> Why can't I smell it? What do you mean you can't smell it? It's like right there. You smell like all of the yummy goodiness okay, in it. Okay, let's pour these in. Mmm, mine looks good actually. I okay. think mine looks good too. Okay, here you go. You get to try it first. We actually have a drink like that already. Really? <laughs> you do? It's actually a cobble passion that you poured. Okay, let's see. It's actually good. <gasps> really? It's actually really good. good. Really good. So which one is better? Yeah, I gotta go with the original. One. I'm sorry. <laughs> Veronica. <laughs> I want again. Okay, okay now we get to try this. ours. Oh mine's my gosh. so good. I wanna try yours. Okay, that's my right there. This is sour. No, no, mine is good. Thanks Fruit Frenzy and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to see what food truck we get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Food Truck Fanatics. <laughs> so we're here with David from the Komodo truck. So David, can you tell us what makes your food truck different from other food trucks in LA? We are a very culturally diverse food truck. We are French. Mexican and Asian. So what are your two most popular dishes on this truck? It would be the Komodo 2.0 and our Asian marinated chicken tacos. Ooh, those sound good. They sound interesting, but yet very yummy. So we noticed that your shirt and the truck says dangerously good food. So we're going to take you up on that challenge and put our own spin onto Komodo's tacos. Let's go. We're ready to jump in and put our own twist some make some Meryl Komodo tacos. tacos. Meryl, Meryl ta ta tacos. Meryl taco. We'll just stick to making some. How about that? <laughs> There's a pork one. And here's okay. a chicken one for you. Okay. So I'm doing the pork. She's and doing the, do the chicken. chicken. Could you please yeah. guide us a little bit and show yeah. us what, what toppings go are? with what? Yeah, like what, what, okay. what makes sense? Yeah. yeah. So on this side, I have white rice. Oh. Bean, careful. White rice. I have mandarin oranges. Okay. Mm. I have green onions. Okay. I have a cucumber and tomato salad, sweet soy sauce. Yum. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I have a jalapeno yoli sauce, which we used earlier. Okay. One of my favorites. Okay. And we also have fried shallots right here as a garnish. For the chicken one, which ingredients go with it? The chicken one, we sauce it up first with the sweet soy and top it off with some rice. Okay. We finish it off with a mandarin oranges and garnish right. it. The green onions. Okay, so what do you put on the pork ones? The pork ones we have a uh, green onion, mm -hmm. tomatoes, mm -hmm. cucumbers. Oh. We mix it all in together with olive oil, season it with salt and pepper, and finish it off with fried shallots. Ooh. All right, so I just stick my hand in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much rice is like? That's fine. Oh, 
like that? Mm -hmm, perfect. It's so cute and small. Okay, the mandarin oranges. No, I forgot this. Put it on top. That's oh, okay. Draw and spin on it. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if that was too much or not. Perfect. It's perfect. Okay, and so I just use my fingers for the mandarin mm -hmm. oranges. Okay. Two mandarin oranges. Two, one, <laughs> two, and then how much of this? Very little. That's perfect. Like that. Beautiful. Well, I, <laughs> I need to get rid of that. Okay, so we want to keep it similar, but make it different. So you said it was um, these things, mm -hmm. tomatoes and cucumbers mixed together with olive oil, mm -hmm. and that is right here. Yes. So um, hopefully I don't put too much on. Okay. And garnish it with shallots. Okay, here we go. All right. So now it's time to put our Meryl Twin touch to these creations. Mine smells pretty good, so I'm just gonna add some rice to mine. I think I'm going to go an extra step and add a little bit of this. After all, it is his favorite. I don't think I'm doing this right, but you know what? <laughs> it's okay. There you go. We've added the Meryl Twins touch to our tacos. All right, so now it's time for the real test. We've cut our tacos in half so we can try our creations. And now David is going to decide which creation is better. Are you ready? I'm ready. Which which one do you want to try first? I'm going to go with the pork. Okay. Mm. Is it good? It's very filling. Very filling? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, good. Okay. That's good, it's right? It's filling. He didn't say anything about the taste. <laughs> chicken one. Now the chicken one. With the mandarin orange. With the mandarin oranges and the spicy sauce. Chicken. <gasps> oh, yes! Oh, all yes! Right. Well, okay, try. well, now I want to try It's because mine. you cheated. You put the spicy sauce and he likes that. <laughs> All right, so, so now we get to try our own tacos. Are you ready? Cheers! Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's really good. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna try yours now. Ready? It's good. I like that better though. Hmm, interesting. I never would have thought to mix mandarin oranges with chicken. Well anyways, I think both tacos were very delicious. I did like yours, I see why he liked yours, but I still like mine personally. It was good. Thanks Komodo Truck and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to see what food truck we get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica, I'm Vanessa, and, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. <laughs> we're here with Rob from the Juice Box Truck, and we're about to put our own spin on their delicious drinks. So can you tell us what makes your juices so special? We make all of our juice made to order with fresh produce and fresh ingredients. It's the freshest you can get in Los Angeles. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. All right, so let's get on the truck. Come on, come on. We're gonna see who makes the best juice with a little juice off. We're gonna make one of our top sellers, the mojito box. Oh gosh, mojito. mojito. So we got all our ingredients ready and prepped. Okay. We're gonna let you guys decide how much of each ingredient goes in the juice. I'll be the judge to see if it's who's closest to the actual mojito box. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some mint. I know you need cucumbers, so just. Yeah, turn. make sure you pr gotta turn it on. Oh right, <laughs> I forgot that. Okay, so I'll just stuff that in there and then do that. I go like that. No! No, this is harder than the other ones. Okay, I'm gonna put some spinach in there. Okay, so I'm not I, sure how. I got a full apple. So that's what we did last time. So this one's mine. Okay, I'm gonna okay. put some spinach in mine. And then I'm gonna put an apple. All right, so all right. I think Am I doing this correctly? Keep pushing. Okay. Try some cucumber now to get it. All right. Cleaned out. I don't. I think I need more spinach. 
Bye bye, cucumber. <laughs> Oops. I put the cucumbers. Okay, I need some more mint. I need some more cucumber. Oh my. I need I need more apples. I think I might be done. That much. Mine. I forgot the lime! <laughs> oh and I'm ahead in the race! <laughs> Rob, I hope you're thirsty because we, <clears throat> I mean, I have an amazing drink prepared for you. Can't wait. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Okay, Rob, try our drinks. I'm See excited. which one is, who came closest to the mojito drink? All right, we'll go for it. <laughs> oh, oh. That one's pretty good. Really? That one's pretty good. Ooh. All right, you know what? I can't pick a winner. I'll let you guys decide. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Mine is sour. Mine's so minty. <laughs> let me try it. Let me try it. No, Nessa, yours is good. Yeah. Oh. Yours, yours is, is good. Sour. Okay, but who would have come closest to it? I think this one's the winner. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Juice Box, and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to see what other food trucks we get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and, and you're watching Food, food Truck, truck Fanatics. <laughs> So we're here with Michael from the Breezy Freeze truck. So Michael, can you tell us a little bit about your truck and what makes it different from other trucks in LA? Well, it's the smallest truck in LA and it's definitely the coolest. And she serves the coolest treats in town, so win-win. What is the treats that you serve? Snowballs. So is it like the same thing as snow cones or what's the difference? Yeah, it's like our evil twin cousin or something. Oh, but snap. we're the better of the two. Oh, well I you love that snowballs. Yeah, I love snow cones, but I am super excited if you're saying this is better than I'm. It's a great day for some snowballs. Oh yeah. So this truck is a little different from the other trucks we've been on because it's smaller, so we're gonna go head to the back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. So I noticed that you have like a little... A well, it's a foot pedal, but it's turned into a knee pedal. That's so you clever. go like this, and it controls that. Oh. Right? So go ahead, get started. Okay. So this controls the ice coming out, right? Okay. Okay. So you want to, when you do it, you don't want to make it too hard, but you want to compact it enough to make a potato. A potato. And then you got to fill it in. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. You pick it up. <laughs> okay. All right. That looks like a potato. Okay. So then that, there you go. And then. Pow, pow. Well, I think we did it. I did it! I did it! I get to do my own flavors. So I want to try pink lemonade. All right. Uh, Pour with confidence. Oh, confidence! There you go. Spread it around. It's so pretty. There you go. It's, it's what happened to it though? Well, that's the hard part when you're actually making this here. You have to pack it down a, a certain consistency. So when it goes, it's not too hard and it's not too soft. So I Sadly, failed. that's too soft. So I failed. Eh, it's your first try. <laughs> you failed already. <laughs> Pour with confidence. There you go. It's so. Oh no, oops. Oops. Oh no. Okay, so maybe it won't taste too bad if I add condensed milk. Alright, so here we go. How much do you usually put? How much do you like? Well, I don't know if I'm gonna put a lot on. I mean, that's a good amount. Yeah, that looks fun. Okay, perfect. So because it's so hot out, it's starting to melt and, and we need to eat, try it before I make mine or else it's going to melt like completely. So let's also try it all together. All and we'll right. remember the taste. Let's 
see what happens. You gotta get some of that mango. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, three. Not bad. I think you got some snowball competition over here. Oh yeah, here. and I just want to like point out like, look how pretty those colors are together. Just they saying. do look pretty together. It shouts out summer. Okay, now my <laughs> turn. I'm gonna make a better one. All right, jump in here. Okay, and then I just learn from your sister's mistakes. I'm trying. That's so... what I do all the time. That looks like a pretty good potato. All right. Wait, I need to pack it. Though. There you go. Okay. There's the next step. You kind of want to set it in there. There you go. That. Now grab the stamper oh, right there here. It is. <laughs> Ready for this amazingness? Oh. Okay. All right. That looks beautiful. So I decided I'm going to do. Can I do three flavors? The sign says two, but we'll let you break the rules today. Yes. Okay. Raspberry, lime, and some strawberry. Sounds I'm gonna like do winner. that. Okay, I'm gonna pour with confidence. Okay, like that. Oops. And now, oh, okay. I'm gonna do blue down the middle. <laughs> That's yeah, not, down well, the middle. That was less confident. But let's get, there you go. There we go. And then lime on the side. This looks like a nice little combo. It looks great. Tell me that doesn't look great. Look, it's like compacted. It still has its shape. Now I want to add a little bit of sour spray, but not a lot. And don't get it in your eyes. <laughs> Did I do it? Okay, I added a little. All right. I don't want a lot. So there we go. There's mine. Look how beautiful that looks. But the truth the goes. The truth is. How good does it taste? So you got to get all three flavors together. You have together. to have a fresh yeah. spoon. Okay. All right. <laughs> well. Okay. Can't all right. Really. I'm. My ice might be too hard. I'm just gonna go through. The... Wow, the whole thing. Wow. Okay. You're just going. You're just going to go all in. Okay. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Yeah. Sour. Yeah, I actually put a lot of sour in it, didn't I? It's good. I'm gonna have to call it a tie. A tie? There There's is no, no such thing. thing as a tie on food truck fanatics. Okay, fine. So if you had to pick. I'm gonna go with her. <laughs> no! <laughs> Mine. Mine is so good though. It was it's so yummy. Mine is different. Mine is original. Mine is creative. Thanks, Breezy Freeze, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what food trucks we get on next time. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. So we're here with Harry from the pudding truck, and we're wearing the special hats. They're so They're cute. Aren't they cute? What makes this truck different from other dessert trucks? Uh, the Pudding Truck is the first food truck in Los Angeles to specialize in gourmet pudding and toppings. So no one else is really doing the same kind of things that we're doing. We specialize in uh, old-fashioned stovetop pudding, which means that we make pudding the old school way with like organic cream and milk and cage-free eggs. Whisk it together on the stovetop until it's ready to go. Chill it, and then as you'll see, it's ready to turn into sundaes. So those sound delicious. Let's hop on the truck and put our own spin onto these puddings. I think we're gonna like yeah, have no problem just, making it's pudding. Just pudding. It's just pudding. Right. Yeah. right. Okay, so we're ready to do this. Yes. You ready? Go ahead and grab a cup. That's our grown-up size. We have kid, grown-up, and party. Oh. <laughs> Look at the party. Oh my. Yeah, that's a full pint. Pretty ambitious. Wow. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do go. a small. Yeah, I got you. Yep, one. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, I'm going to do two flavors. I think I want to do. Um, what do we have again? <laughs> we have chocolate, butterscotch, vanilla bean, vegan chocolate hazelnut, and then the southern style banana. You know what? I think I'm gonna do chocolate and vanilla bean together. Okay. All right. So that's a good mixture. I think I'm gonna do the vegan. Chocolate. 
vegan one. Okay, wait. Whoa. So these are like the mashed potato spoons again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Um, and those are, uh, usually I do four scoops in a size like that. And I'm a new wing. Yep. So uh, like, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good technique. Put, just because it's a little different, just a little bit of salt. I'm going to do some brownie chunks because apparently these are homemade. Those are my favorite. Those are so I good. love brownies. Haha, <laughs> 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 see, those are her favorite. Okay, I'm going to put some strawberries because oh, I man. love strawberries That's what I was going to Nutella. Do. I could do. You know what? I'm just going all out. Put some vanilla wafers in there. It's all about presentation. Because it got the chocolate and vanilla. See see my pattern? I'm going to put <laughs> chocolate chips. And then, oh no, what should I do, what should I do? Where's the whipped cream? Oh, the whipped cream. It's a careful right procedure. Thank you. There you go. Ooh, look at that. So you said the whipped cream is homemade. So what's in what's in this? We uh, we whip it freshly right here on this machine with um, with a little bit of powdered sugar and vanilla extract, and that's it. Wow. Basically, you just try to squeeze it from the top. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, nice. I'm doing it. <laughs> you are. I'm doing it. So I'm going to add, oh, uh, it's kind of a fail. I'm going to add it's just some not. more. Well, on this side it looks great, so I'll just show this side. <laughs> I put more, I put vanilla wafers, because hmm. I thought that was a nice touch, and I wanted to try them, because they're homemade. We're going to finish up and put some more toppings on ours. I'm going to put this little ring on top of this, like that. Oh. And then put like some sprinkles. Halo. Yeah. Because you can't have a pudding party without sprinkles. I'm going to call mine Chanilla? Ch Chanilla, because you know, chocolate, chocolate and vanilla. Chanilla, egg, sprinkle Everest. <laughs> Sounds like an instant classic. <laughs> See, she likes it. All right, I'm going to put whipped cream now. Yeah, you got it. Okay, I want to put some Oreos. Oh no, oh no. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Oreos. Hi right, Carrie, what do you think of our presentations? I think they're both pretty excellent, I have to say. That was some pretty supreme whipped cream work for first timers. Yay! But, 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 you have to choose. Oh God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. I have to say, just because of how bizarre it looks, I have to go with that weird egg ring. It's Chanilla. Chanilla. Chanilla, Chanilla egg, egg, egg Sprinkle Everest. Sprinkle Everest. <laughs> Yay! So it's going to be featured? Maybe. No. Okay, so wait a second. We gotta have her taste it because it might look cool, but mine might taste better. Take the taste. Okay. Da da. Cool. Da da. Da da. <laughs> Yay! Excellent. Oh Pretty classic. Mm hmm. Let's see this Pretty one. Pretty classic. See, classic. I really like the strawberries with the chocolate hazelnut, though. It's like a nice, sweet, and tart. It's like a Nutella cream. I'm going to say presentation, taste. Well, I still won the presentation. Uh, mine looks pretty cool too. Okay. Like she had a hard time deciding. I did. They're both pretty great. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try mine because I need to. I can't. Okay, there. Mmm. Mm -hmm. okay. This is amazing. Oh wait. Um. Cause you know what I did? I added salt to it. So I gave it a. I love it. Wait, but for mine, you have to eat it a certain way. You have to eat the egg first. And then, <laughs> then you have to eat the, the nest that the egg was in. That's what it was. It I, was a it nest. It's like a little home for it. It yeah. was. <laughs> so it looks like Nessa and I are both winners on the pudding truck. Everyone's a winner on the pudding truck. Yay! Thanks, pudding truck, and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to see what food trucks we got on next time on Food Truck Fanatics. Bye! Bye. 
Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. So we're here with Victor from the Tumaka truck, and we're gonna put our own spin to their delicious food. So Victor, what makes your food truck different from other food trucks here in LA? Well, the Tumaka truck is the first and only food truck in Los Angeles to offer uh, gourmet sandwiches and tapas from Barcelona. I can't wait to try it, so let's hop on the truck. Okay, so what you usually do is you put the tomato on, right? Exactly. And then some oil. So this is the ham. Yes, it is. What is this? This is a chorizo. It's a <gasps> spicy uh, Spanish sausage. You can use it too. It's very good. I think I'll try it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Don't worry. You know, I think I'll try some cheese. Mm -hmm. These are the pipara peppers. A little bit spicy too. Okay. Um, which one are the most sweetest ones? Sweetest ones or this one? Let's the try red it. ones. Yeah, let's try the yeah. red ones. And I feel like I should do a sauce. I think that the spicy sauce could uh, fit better with the chorizo. This is okay. uh, my point of view. But. I'm just going to go with your point of view. <laughs> Let's do spinach. So I'm going to name my sandwich the Cho Rani. As you know, chorizo, Rani. Okay. Um, oh no. Okay. You did that. Mm -hmm. And then you did this. Yes. Yeah, and then you fold that. You got it. Remember everything. And like that. Good. Huh. Huh. It's okay. very nice. It's nice. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm done. Nessa, come make a better sandwich than me. All right. So you start it out with the right tomato. Squeeze it. Very good. Like that. And then you said the oil. Okay, so I'm gonna do the ham. What is this? This is romesco sauce. It's a tomato sauce with a bit of red, red peppers, garlic, and onions. Too. It is not spicy. Okay. okay. Oh! Is it good? Mm. Do you like it? Mm hmm. I'm so you can use it now. Mm -hmm. I'll give you another spoon. This is so good. I'm putting a lot. <laughs> Actually, not a lot. I'll just go spread it out evenly. And then I'm gonna put the caramelized onions. Okay, now I'm gonna put my leaves like so. Okay, all right, you guys. And I totally forgot how to wrap it, but I'm going to uh, make up my own way. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then I'm gonna cut it in half. You gotta be careful. Here it is. This is called the hemasa. Hem like spell hemasa. I have a really good feeling yours is gonna taste great. Mm, mine smells um, really good. Mine it kinda smells tomatoey and sweet. Mine's interesting. Let me smell yours. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ew. I'll eat this one. You can have this. Here, <laughs> okay. here you go. Let's see. It's uh, maybe the most uh, original sandwich I've ever seen, so I'm uh, very uh, curious. Oh. It's quite good. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good creation. I didn't expect that. I thought, I thought it would be maybe bad. <laughs> but, oh, no, because it. <laughs> I think that was the nicest. I never, I've never seen that before, never... but it's good. Like the chorizo and um, Montego cheese are going very well together, and the veggies too. Maybe we should add it on our menu. <gasps> it could uh, wear your name. Yes. Here's mine. Okay. okay. Let's try it. Mm. It's similar to the one that we did together. I think uh -huh. the, the, the sauce and the caramelized onions and serrano ham is a very good uh, match, you know? We could definitely sell that to our customers. They would love it. Yes! Okay, so who do you think made the better sandwich, though? It's a very hard choice. Um, I think that both are very delicious. Um, but if I have to uh, really pick up a winner, maybe I would say yours, because 
it's like more original. It's a new creation, and I like that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, okay, let's well, try our sandwiches and see how they taste. Okay. Ready? Ready? Cheers. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? But yours is pretty good. I can see why you went with that because it is a little bit more special, like you. I put um the spicy chorizo on it, mixed with the sauce too, which is spicy, and it's not that spicy. I don't know how to explain mine. It was it's like kind of sweet with a little spice, and like you can really taste the cheese. And I I really like cheese, so. I thought the cheese was good. With this it. one is for you then? Yeah, this one was for me. Thanks to Maka Truck and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to see what food trucks we get on next time. Bye! Mmm. That's so good. These sandwiches are so good. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. Angelo from the pink taco truck and we're about to put our own spin on their delicious tacos. Okay, so Angelo, can you tell us what makes your truck different from other food trucks here in LA? So the, the pink taco truck, we wanted to focus on making all our food fresh and healthy. Um, so most, most of the time taco trucks or Mexican food in general, you kind of think of like heavy and you need to take yeah. a nap afterwards. Ooh. Not not with us, we, we, we want to promote a healthy lifestyle and that's why we have our truck out on the streets of LA. Let's get on the awesome. truck and try it. <gasps> Let's yeah. do it, yeah! <laughs> put your brisket on the flat top, let it okay. get some caramelization to it. How much brisket? As much as you want to put in your taco. Ooh, look at that. Just right on top of the tortilla. Ooh, that looks so good. It smells delicious. I think I'm gonna put, you say, is it cotija? Yeah, cotija cheese. Cotija. Do you usually put the sauces on next? Yeah, so usually okay. we'll, we'll do the, the salsa verde or the arbol salsa. I'll so do salsa verde because we haven't tried it. Yeah, our tomatillo salsa, it's phenomenal too. Just because it was so interesting, I might do the cactus salsa. And then I think I might, just to make it like a little bit more colorful, I might put some actual, like some pico. So I'm gonna call this the Christmas Cactus Taco. <laughs> All right. So we have our sweet potato in here. Just going I need to pick the right one. This is the right one. That's the one? This is the one. And I just put it in. Yep, you're gonna roll it around in the batter. You wanna get it nice and incorporated and make sure it's all covered. Slowly drop it in Slowly there. Slowly drop it in. There you go. While that's frying up, we can start eating and get your tortilla going oh, if you right. want. Okay, I'm gonna get my tortilla ready. Got the paper. Like so. And then picking the right tortilla. Like. Ooh, is it done? Yep, so that's done. Okay. The... Ah, it's gonna be very hot, so just be careful. My perfect sweet potato. Okay, so now I just put the, look, it like fits perfect. I want to use this sauce again. Oh, you want again. to use a puree? I want to like make my own at home. Okay, I really want to put some avocado salsa. And then I want to put on some of this. This You said this is pineapple? Pineapple jalapeno salsa, yeah. Ooh, look how colorful it is. Okay, I'm going, going to add tortilla cheese, but just, I'm adding just a little bit. I'm going to call this pretty in pink, even though nothing on it has pink, because the taco truck is pink and moving. So now it's time for you to taste our tacos and see which one is better. Okay. Okay. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Are you okay. nervous? A little bit. <gasps> oh, it's juicy. That's a good taco. Oh, oh that's a good taco. <laughs> Yep. So now the pretty and pink. <laughs> Even though it's not pink. Oh well. I like the the pineapple salsa with the sweet potato. It's really good. Really? Mm -hmm. What about the the salsa, the avocado salsa? 
It's good. I like it. I guess if I have to pick one, I would say I personally liked the Christmas cactus also taco a little bit more than the pretty in pink, but just a little bit. Jay, just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Congratulations, Johnny. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I made a good taco. Oh, not spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a pineapple. Pineapple mm -hmm. sauce is a little spicy. Here. Mm. But that's pretty good. Here. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Yours is actually not that bad. It tasted really good actually. Like, um. Yeah, they're both really good. It had good. a lot of yeah. sweetness to it and then like the kick of like little yeah. spices. A really nice touch. That really makes a lot. So if you're like in the mood for like something, uh. Sweet. Healthy and sweet. This, the pretty and pink. And if you want some with meat, <laughs> <laughs> my tacos. <laughs> Thanks, Pink Taco, and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to see what kind of food trucks we get on next time. Bye! So good. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So today is a very special Food Truck Fanatics episode because we have a very special guest. Hi, I'm Emanuele Filiberto, Prince of Venice. This is why the truck is called the Prince of Venice. And I'm happy you're here. He's the actual Prince of Venice. So can you tell us a little bit about your truck and what makes it different than other food trucks? So the truck is a pasta truck. I think we're the only one here in Los Angeles, but not only a pasta normal truck, a fresh pasta truck, because we do our own pastas on the truck. It's a truck for everyone. So that sounds amazing, and we will see you in a little bit because we're going to hop on the truck and put our own spin to their delicious food. Well, I'm waiting for that. So you go in, you meet Alberto, you don't need no introduction, and go, go, because okay. I'm hungry. I just arrived from Italy now. Oh, okay. I'm hungry. Come okay, on. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Okay, so I really love ravioli. Ravioli okay. is one of my favorite pastas, so I want to make some authentic ravioli. Yes, go, go, go. We have some garlic over there. Do I need to chop it? No. No. Just smash it a little oh, bit. Oh, you smash it? Yes. So I just put it in there? Yes. Oh, look at these little tomatoes. They're so cute. Uh, you need to cut it in half. Okay. Yes. Like all of them? Yes. Okay. Just put in here. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. A pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. A pinch of salt. Okay, a little bit of pepper. Okay. Oh, yeah. The last ingredient you're gonna put here is the chopped basil. Oh, chopped so, basil. Some basil from here. Is that basil? Yes, this is the basil. Here we are. Ooh, smells like basil. <coughs> Just put in there. Let's put the pasta, the oh, ravioli. Right, ravioli. And then, so we can cut the mozzarella cheese to put on top to our sauce. Okay, let's okay. do that. We cut in cubes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Let's take some. <laughs> put it right there. It smells like heaven. This is called heaven on earth. All right, so now it's my turn. Okay, we have the olive oil over here. Just put a little bit in a pan. And then uh, let's find some garlic. Just put in the olive oil. Just put it? Yes. So it starts to roast it. We have the, sh the shrimp over there. Okay, just put it over there. Okay, we have zucchini over there. Okay. You already cut zucchini. Like this? Yes, like that. One more? A little bit more. Okay, two pinch of salt, two pinch of pepper. One, two, and Yes. Let's put the pasta. Probably after the container, up a little bit more than half, it's gonna be a portion. Just put it in there? Yes. Put it in 
there. Right. So let's finish the sauce. So we want to have some some cream and some saffron. How put. much? Go, 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 go. Let's see. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's enough, I think. Wow. Yes. Okay, and the last one, the saffron. Open it. There is a white little bag inside. Oh. A bag within a bag. A bag in a bag. <laughs> so just pour it in there? Yep, just put it in here. And you will see the color, it will change right away. Look at Whoa. It. Whoa. So take it. Take it. And lay it down. Perfect. Ah. What's missing? Just the parsley. Just the parsley? Just a little bit of parsley. One. That's one. Let's get the other one. All right. We are ready to go. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, this one's a little more different and fun because we have two judges judging our dishes. First, Alberto is going to judge our dishes and then Prince Emmanuel will judge them. So we'll see. You can taste mine first. Okay. Since I made mine first. So yeah, that's true. You're gonna taste the ravioli. Okay. Good job. I did a good job? Yep. You must be a very good teacher. Huh? <laughs> You're a very good teacher. All right, All right. Now here's mine. That's a beautiful color. That's, Thank you. That's great. Okay. It's gonna be pretty hard to decide who's gonna win today. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Both of them are pretty good. So, so we need to call Emanuele and see what he decides. Okay, so now it's time for the final test. You get to try ours and see whose is the best. Which one do you want to try first? Yours. Oh. <laughs> good taste. No, it's good. Nice color. Thank you. <laughs> Let's hope it tastes good. 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 I must say, because... I should take this one. Because the, the, the shrimp... It's nicely cooked, but not enough. There's too, a bit too much cream, but it's very good, very good. And yours, I must say, the taste was incredible because I like garlic. Is yeah. it the first time you cook pasta? Yeah, like, like this? this? Yes. Ah, so it's so it's you did really an incredible job. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm gonna try. try so you that. deserve each one a kiss. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Oh. Oh, and you. uh, and you're two fantastic hosts and cooks now. So do you know how to speak Italian? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Buona. Buonasera, good oh, night. Buonasera. E questo sai cos'è? È molto buono. Very good. Molto buono. E voi siete bravissime. E voi siete Fantastic. Bravissime. 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 E adesso si dice ciao. Ciao, ciao a tutti. <laughs> Thanks Prince of Venice Truck and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what kind of food trucks we get on next time. Bye! This is so good. It's really good, oh my gosh. We should go to Italy. Let's go, right now, going, bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. Ruha from the Rooster Truck, and we're about to dive into their delicious breakfast. So Ruha, what makes your food truck different from other food trucks here in LA? Well, the Rooster is all about breakfast and brunch, which is my favorite meal of the day. I'm pretty sure it's everyone in LA's favorite meal of the day. It's the most important meal of the day. It is, especially when it involves a breakfast burrito named Rico Suave. What? Is that, is that the most popular item? It is the <gasps> most popular item. Oh my gosh, what's oh my on it? Uh, I'm not gonna give away too much, but I will say tater tots are involved. That sounds absolutely delicious. Let's go put our own spin on this truck. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put the peanut butter on because you know, like, it's gonna be really melted. And look at it, it's like melting. I would just eat that. That looks great right there. You know what? I would eat this too. 
It's a glorified peanut butter sandwich, really. Yeah. And look at it, it's like melting. It's beautiful. Okay, so next I'm going to make the egg. And then, boom. there you go. <laughs> okay, and now, no, no, what do I do? <laughs> you, can, you can use this, there you go. Okay. Teamwork, oh, teamwork. Teamwork, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm not going to make it as good as you did, <laughs> but I will try. I mean, it already looks pretty much just like mine, so. You think so? I think so, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to make my bacon, and this is going to be the best part of the sandwich, because who doesn't love bacon? Okay. Two there. Okay. And... Beautiful. Ooh, ah. Okay, so now I still have one put syrup on it. <laughs> okay. Delicious. I can do this, guys. It's like this, and then roll like that. Okay. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so this is the three-in-one burrito. So we're going to do the taste test now because my burrito is warm and the syrup is kind of going everywhere so we're just going to do it now. So when you take a bite, remember the taste because you're going to have to try hers and then you're going to have to choose whose is better. Not sure I'll be able to forget it, so let's <laughs> give this a shot. Oh my god. Oh and there's syrup on it? Mm. It's concerning that it tastes good. <laughs> like you wouldn't it think. It tastes good? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well now you need to try it. Me? And then I'll try it. Whoa. You done good. It's actually really good. The nuttiness is kind of nice with the bacon though, which is it cool. It is. Mm -hmm. Which is nice, because the salt and the sweet play off each other. It really does. Wow. I like it. I'm proud of myself. Okay. You're done good. Thank you, sir. That was a bad high five. I got a syrup all over my fingers. <laughs> like, give me cool. five. <laughs> five. It wasn't bad. Surprisingly, but I delicious. think I could do maybe a little better with we'll my see. location. So, we will see. Let's do this right now. Game on. Game on. Oh. Is that enough? I'll do a couple more. A couple more? Yeah. Okay. There you go. There Thank we you. go. Okay, now I'm just gonna slowly put them in the fryer. That's a that's a quiet fryer. It's not as loud as other ones. It's gentle. It's a gentle one. I'm gonna multitask and make the eggs. Two eggs. I'm a professional egg cracker. Oh yeah? I can crack them with one hand. Let's Ready? See it. How do I okay, I'm just gonna yeah. <laughs> Okay, there we go. See, like that. Nice. That's, oh no, what do I do? Okay, do I just like... Perfect, yeah. Just stir it like that? Stir it like you're doing a scramble and then just kind of let it cook. Like so? Beautiful, yeah. And just let it sit for a few okay. and then you'll be able to flip it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put cinnamon and sugar on the tater tots. And I know that sounds a little gross, I think this is going to be good. Now we need cinnamon. Now I've learned, because I, I actually make cinnamon toast at home. Oh wow. Don't use a lot of cinnamon, or else it'll taste really dry. Okay, now we're going to mix it a little bit. I got to place them the, the right way though. You have to, you can't just put them on there. You have to strategically place them. So the final touch I'm going to do, because it's already so yummy and simple, and sometimes you don't need a lot or else it'll ruin it, I'm just gonna add some honey and drizzle it. So now I'm going to wrap my tortilla up like this, right? Mm-hmm. This is how we do it. Uh, I'm not really good at wrapping tortillas. Almost got it, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna do it at an angle. Too easy, too easy. This is the egg, Sanessa. You get to try it first. All right. Why don't you try at the same time as she does? Me? That yeah. way if we go, we both go together and it's safe. Yeah, and then, and then you can tell me what the secret ingredient is. OK. 
Okay, ready? Here Cheers. We... Cheers. <laughs> Godspeed. A little heavy on the sugar. Oh, really? Sugar. <laughs> it's but a... the eggs are very well cooked. Well, thank you. And I'm hungry, so I'm just going to take another bite. The egg is really cooked well. Mine was not. Thank you. Mm. It's okay. Mm. I need to know why you guys are making these faces. I it's know not how to feel. Here's the thing. It's not bad. No. It's not bad. It's just not normal. <laughs> and yours was? I feel like if we combine <laughs> the two, it would be an epic. So I had cinnamon Tater tater, cinnamon tater tots to mm. her. Mm. So you got the nutty, you got the crunchy, you got the, the creamy, cinnamon. you got the sweet cinnamon, and you got bacon. Okay, so now you have to choose whose was better, even though we tried both of them together and it was like really good. We gotta pick which one was better because we can never end on a tie mm -mm. Oh, man. on food truck All bananas. Right. Well, pros for each, bacon, nice protein. Yes. Crunch with the tater tots. I agree with that. Cons. Wet. <laughs> Wet. With the syrup. Sweet. With too much sugar. So, all of that said, you you guys both did great. Thank so you. So you should round of applause yourselves for that. Thank you. But so I would kind. have to say Bonnie's <laughs> one. Just because there was a little bit more. There's more to it. Flavor variants than just sugar. So obviously we should leave the breakfast burrito cooking up to the rooster truck, but you know what? Good try. Good try. We Good did try. it. We, we did it. Killed it. We did killed it. it. Killed it. Thanks rooster truck and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see what food trucks we get on next time. Bye. Mmm. Yeah, so good. I know. Oh my. Careful there. Hey guys, I'm Veronica, I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. So we're here with Danielle from the Crepes Bonaparte truck, and we're about to put our own spin to their delicious food. So Danielle, can you tell us what makes your truck different from other food trucks here in LA? When you visit the Crepes Bonaparte truck, it's not just about eating delicious crepes. It's a full experience. We have this big window where you can see all your food made to order. All of our chefs wear these uniforms. And it's a cute uniform too, yep. I love it. We <laughs> greet everyone, bonjour. We tell them bon appetit, so it's a whole experience. So let's hop on the truck and give it a go. I'm scared. Oh gosh, I'm doing this. All right, and then you it cooks real quick, so you want to oh, spread oh, it. Oh, okay, okay, so she did like a circle. Yep. Like... That's. Pretty good wow. for our first one, actually. Really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. It cooks really fast, so again, oh. you want to fold oh, it real oh, quick. Oh, I forgot to So you're going to take it. this and just fold it in half. Oops. Oh, like like that? Yep. And then, and then what are you going to put inside? Oh, snap, I don't know. I got to hurry. Chicken. If you're going to do chicken. Oh, do I have to cook chicken? Yeah, we got to put, I mean, it's cooked, oh. but we got to warm it up a little bit. Okay. And All then right. I'm gonna let's grill some peppers. Ooh, I'm gonna do mozzarella. Now right. fold it up into a triangle. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's hot. It's hot. I can feel the heat. Oh, oops! I think I broke it. Okay. How did you fold it so nicely before? Okay. Right over here. Okay. I feel like I'm doing decent. Let me do that. There we go. Guys, I made a crepe! Does it look good? Beautiful. Really? It yeah. is a very, very good first crepe. This is called the crepessa. Like Vanessa and crepe mixed together. So my sister surprisingly did pretty well. I mean, beginner's luck. But I think I have a pretty good chance of doing this. All right, here goes nothing. Like a pancake. A little more, a little more. Okay. And now, oh no, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. I'm actually doing pretty well. Okay, cool. Little train. Oh my gosh, I did it. Do you think it's done? Yeah. Oh no. You gotta really.
Kelly, dig into the grill, like get underneath it. Oh no, I'm ruining it! Okay. <laughs> this is so bad. Now flip it over. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, okay. So now, 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 I don't even think about what I want to do. Um, I'll do cinnamon apples. I'll do a fruit one. Okay. Okay, cinnamon apples. Okay, so just, oh no, oh no. Like that. Let's do blackberries. We could, you want to do a little bit of chocolate sauce Let's or caramel. Yeah. Or we could do more cinnamon sugar. Can we do more cinnamon sugar? Yeah. Okay. This is so exciting. Oh no. I think I just like, I tore it. Come on, please cooperate with me. It'll just have to do. Okay. It's not perfect. It's those apples and blackberries. I got you a nice home. <laughs> Any whipped cream? Yes, whipped cream. I love whipped cream. So you did it like this. Like you just put like a ton. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> All about the drizzle. Yes. Okay. Voila. Finishing touch. Oh yes. There we go, there we go. Aha, my masterpiece is complete. I'm gonna call this the sweet and stubborn because it's a really sweet crepe, but it was really, she was stubborn to make on the grill. So now it's time for the real test. Danielle, you get to try our masterpieces and see which one you think is better. I'm gonna start with savory. Okay. We'll have dinner, then dessert. Good. It's fun. Yeah? <laughs> Yay! Yours actually does look pretty good. Tastes healthy. On to dessert. Wow, big bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm. If I had to choose, I think I'm gonna go with the dessert. <gasps> oh. <laughs> but it's just because I'm a, I like, I like sweets. I'm okay, a sweet okay. at heart. So let's try too. this. Okay. Let's do this. Cheers. cheers. I don't want to cheers, okay. So this is really good. I really enjoyed that. Okay, now I want to try. Mine was really good. Yours. Mine was really good because like there's so much juices from the fruit in it. Let's do this. Ready? Oh. Oh. I like mine better. <laughs> yours is pretty good though. I really liked mine. Mine was really good. Good? Yeah, this one does taste healthy. I feel like you should have added more chocolate and more cinnamon sugar. I have to say, I have seen a lot of people make crepes or attempt to make crepes, and both of those were pretty good. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. So in some way, we both won today. Yes, because we are crepe experts now. Thanks, Crepes Bonaparte, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what food trucks we get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're, you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. <laughs> We're here with Angel from the Lobos truck. So can you tell us what makes your truck different from other trucks in LA? Our food, our wachos especially, our waffle fries, delicious. What? Wait, what, what are wachos? They're um, our waffle fries with nacho-like toppings. <gasps> Nachos! Oh. It's like what you do all the time, combining two names together. <laughs> Alright, so can you tell us what some of the most popular dishes are? Our wachos and our mac and cheese. We have a mac and cheese with uh, two wings and bacon, the Buff Pig Mac. Ooh, that sounds very that sounds interesting. interesting. I'm good thing I'm hungry. <laughs> Same. Alright, we're so excited to put our own spin on the Lobos truck, so let's get going. All right, since you guys are making wachos, the first thing for that is our fries. Yeah. If you step right back here, I already made you guys some fries. Oh, oh yummy. yummy. They're hot, so oh careful. Oh my gosh, those look delicious. So come on here for you guys. Thank, Thank you. Is that good enough? Or? That's, yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Here's one and the, here's two. Okay, so we gotta taste these fries before we like create something. I'm just gonna, you know, maybe. I'm gonna take, take, take a little hat. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. Really hot, but. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. 
So unhealthy, but so good. This just tastes good by itself. So what are the ingredients that we can put on some of our wachos? Well, right here we have two classic wachos. Cheesy Ranch, pretty simple, our handcrafted cheese sauce. Ooh, yum. Some Cheddar Jack mix and some ranch. <laughs> yum, okay. And for those that are brave, we have our Green Dragon sauce, which looks just like ranch, but it's a lot hotter. Ooh. And then we have some guacamole to add on that. Yum. So what are your favorite toppings out of these? Mine is the Green Dragon sauce. All right, are you guys ready to take on the Wacho Challenge? Yes, yeah. we're ready to go. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, ready, let's go. I don't know what to do. Okay. Um. <laughs> cheese. I want some guac. I want cheese. You I love go guac. Wrong. I'm gonna put a cheese. lot on. Mm. I think I'm doing this right. Mine looks. Look, mine looks great right now. So since you said you liked this, what was it? Green. Green dragon. Green dragon. I'm going to put this on my fries. I actually don't even know what, I don't even know what green dragon sauce is, but I guess I'll find out. You can never go wrong with too much cheese. <laughs> Look, I made mine polka dotted. Oh. <laughs> Look, mine has a pretty design. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I, I think I'm done. I don't know what, to, what, what else should I put on mine? Can I put some of the chicken on there? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna put the chicken on there. I think mine is done. This is amazing. Oh no. Okay. This is the winner. Look at the pretty design. Perfect. All right, so Angel, you are our judge. We're all gonna try it, but you get to try it first and see whose is better. Okay. Let's start off with this. Mm, that green dragon sauce. Really? Does it add some flavor to it? <sighs> That's so good. That's really good. Really? Thank yes. You. Okay. Just go big or go home. <laughs> mm. Is it good or? That's really, really good. Oh, I know. So if you could pick one of these to sell on your truck, which one would it be? I mean, keep in mind that I have your favorite sauce. But I mean, yeah. a lot of people like cheese. I would go with this one. <gasps> yes! Oh. Okay, well let's try our creation. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, I'm gonna get some dragon sauce on that. Oh! My dragon is spicy! I don't like spicy. Thanks Lobos Truck and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what food trucks we get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica, I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. We're here with Austin from Fluff Ice, and we're going to put our own spin on their delicious treat. What's the difference between this and regular ice cream? So what makes our uh, texture unique is that we're able to shave our Fluff Ice into a really nice, fine texture using our machine shavers that we have mounted directly on our truck. What is your top two like popular flavors? So our top two popular flavors are definitely going to include our Mango Manis as well as our Chocolate Crunch. Those sound delicious, so let's hop on the truck and try and see if we can create our own fluffy deliciousness. So let's go ahead and actually get started and make the hollow hollow we talked about earlier. Go into the freezer for a quick <gasps> second. And I have the taro block right here, yeah. Definitely. So wait, what is taro? So taro is gonna be like a sweet potato kind of flavor. Um, it's actually really hard to describe, but I assure you it tastes absolutely delicious. Definitely. Okay. Dun 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 <laughs> That's like the condensed milk really adds yeah, a nice does, touch right? to it. So if you ladies like this hollow hollow, just wait until you try our mango madness. Ooh. We're about to go head to head right now, so you can make the better fluff. <gasps> well, well, you're going down. Okay, but <laughs> we don't know what don't the, know what the toppings yeah. are. So that's actually part of the fun. We're gonna see who can come closer to the actual ingredients of the mango mayonnaise. So kind of a bit of a guessing game. Let's oh. see who gets it right. And you're going to taste test them? And yes, I am gonna oh. be judging which oh, one is the best. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so here you go, ladies. We have our cups right here for you. And we already have our mango block out for you guys, ready to just pop in the shaver. Who would like to go first? I do. No. I said it first time, I'm gonna go. No, I wanted to. Pull it forward, perfect. 
and then slam it down with just a little force, just using a little caution because we have our spikes right here. There you go. Just a little bit. Yeah, so then it's gonna start okay. spinning. And, now and then we use this knob to dial it in. You can go ahead and start turning that. And you're doing a great job catching it too. It's now my turn. Okay, I got this. See, I don't need any you got help. This. <laughs> and then just bring in that dial. Oh, perfect. Watch out. You're, you're professional already. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> Remember, ladies, the objective here is to try and guess which toppings actually go on the mango madness. Let's see who can get it right. Since everything has had beans so far, <laughs> I'm just gonna put some beans. All right. Oops. Oh! Oh no, I am so sorry. I'm going to put mango in mine. I see you added some mango over here. I wanna I add, add mango. some mango. I did mangoes. it perfectly. It's all about presentation. Exactly, and you can put as much condensed milk as you like. Okay, so the moment of truth right here. You guys both finished. I see red bean and mango fruit on top of your mango shaved mm -hmm. ice. And then I see mango fruit on yours as well, but you have condensed milk on top. Yep. So who yep. got the closest? I'd have to say that you did get the closest Aww, right here. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, yes. sorry about what's that. On, what's, what's actually, actually on it? it? So what's actually on the mango madness is gonna include the mango shaved snow, mango fruit, as well as mango jelly over there in our topping tray. Oh. Let's have Austin judge them. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with that mango shaved snow. There it is. Let me see. That was really, really great. So let me get a scoop of this mango shaved snow with condensed milk. Ooh, I love that condensed milk. Absolutely beautiful. I know. I put an amazing job. Mmm. That is great. That is great. Try mine now. Do you want to try yours? Yeah, I'm going to try mine. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm! Mmm! Thanks, Fluff Ice, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what other food trucks we get on next. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. <laughs> so we are here with Josh from the Reed Cheese Truck. And for those of you who are hardcore fans of Food Truck Fanatics, which I'm sure all of you are, you would know that we've been on this truck before. So today is a very special episode. It is the redemption episode. I lost last time we were on the Ricci's truck. I need to win. So last time on this truck, we tried the Bacon Mac. Which sandwich should we make today? What is? What do you recommend? The YOLO is pretty cool. That consists of our turkey, our ham, our bacon, as well as our sourdough bread. It's triple stacked and it has Swiss cheddar and American cheese. That sounds delicious and I can't wait to try it. So let's hop on the truck and let's see who will redeem themselves or stay the queen of sandwiches. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this stuff on it. This is that butter mayo stuff. Bam, there it is. I want to put ham on mine because I love ham. I'm going to put it right there. You guys have macaroni, right? Yeah. OK. I think I want to put some macaroni on mine. I think my macaroni is done. Ah, OK. OK. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. OK. I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. OK, I'm going to get the rest of my macaroni that I've lost. <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> Why can't I get the macaroni? <laughs> there. Okay. Okay, just gotta place it correctly <laughs> on there. Okay. Must smush it out. And then I really liked, oh, I should've, I really liked this and I feel like this will taste good. This is the avocado aioli. And now, the sandwich is done. This is called the redemption. Here I go. Dun, 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 dun. It's my redemption. So last time I won on this truck, I decided to make a sandwich that was kind of going a little crazy. I know I had like mushrooms. I don't know what else I put. I can't remember what I put on it, but I just know it was a little crazy. So this time I think I'm gonna go with the same approach and strategy and I'm gonna go crazy. Instead of using 
one type of bread, I think we're gonna use two different types of bread. Cause you know, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some of it on here. That looks fine. And just stick it on the grill. I'm gonna use turkey. So stick that on there. <laughs> okay, do you think it's good now? Yeah, probably. Uh, no, nope, I'm gonna leave it on a little longer. What about this one? Okay, what about the turkey? Uh -huh. Oh no. Flip over! Flip! <laughs> Go! That, 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 that works too. That works too. This one right here. And then. <laughs> yeah, that's done. Yes. Okay, I don't know what to do with it because I don't have my bottom piece yet. So I guess I'll just put it on the top. Okay, so here's the bottom. <laughs> now we switch it over. There, that works. Okay, I'm gonna use cheddar because I really like cheddar. So, Oh, let's put some uh, lettuce. Beautiful. Okay, and then a tomato for the crazy part. I'm going to add croutons. All right, you gotta space them all nice and evenly. And now, I'm done. So this is called the turkey crunch. Um, <laughs> don't worry guys, you know, things happen, things happen. There, perfect. It is time to see whose sandwich is better, the redemption or the, mine's called the turkey crunch. You get to try them and yeah. then decide whose is better. Okay. Okay, so I think you should try hers first. Looks like that's how it's gonna go. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Good. I'm working my way through the flavors. A lot of cheese? Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn to try mine. Yay. The award presentation goes to her for sure. Me? Presentation? No, no. presentation oh. goes to her. <laughs> Yours well, is, okay. is okay. having some artistic issues. <laughs> it really is. Croutons are kind of weird. <laughs> Croutons are kind of weird? I'm gonna go with the mac and the ham just because it's different and I've never had it before. I've made my redemption. Okay, ready? Cheers. Cheers. I do not like the croutons. <laughs> croutons are... Croutons are no. That one's mine. Cheers. It tastes burnt. That's like it that. tastes burnt. Mine <laughs> is 100% better. There you have it, guys. I have redeemed myself on the Reed Cheese truck. Thank you, Josh, for picking me. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Richie's Truck, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what kind of food trucks we get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. Mm. So we're here with Joe from the Garbage Truck. So Joe, can you tell us what makes your food truck different from other food trucks here in LA? What we're known for is the original trash plate. It was based in my hometown of Rochester, New York. What separates us different from any other truck out there is the meat hot sauce we put over the top of everything. That sounds really, really delicious and I can't wait to try it. So let's hop on this truck and put our own marrow twin spin on this delicious food. What is this? So this is the fry cutter. We make all of our fries fresh here on the garbage truck. The potato in there. I'm not that strong like this. Yep. Okay, guys, are you ready? I'm just gonna put all my weight. Oh my God. I'm trying. It's... I can't do it. There we go. Are you okay? You all right? I did it, guys. All right, got it. Get 
some of these fries. Look, whoa, is this how you actually make french fries? Yeah, and I'll separate them, because I'll get stuck in the fryer and then it'll take a little bit longer to cook. Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, and now we'll go over here and we'll season them. Season the fries. Okay, I feel like... I'm gonna flip them. Okay, I'm gonna flip them. I'm scared. This is scary. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, I think I'm good. Do I just dump them in the fryer Yeah, now? just go into the fryer and dump them in. Oh gosh, oh no. Okay, here I go. All right. Okay, now I just put it in there. Just drop them in. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. All right, so I want to put some bacon on top of my trash fries. Okay, I will come back for you because I think the fries are done. Okay, there, fries are done. Put all these fries like that. You probably grab some bacon, can I use these? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab all my bacons because I feel like they're done. Now I'm going to put some cheese on it. Just sprinkle it like that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to uh, put some of the hot meat sauce. Oh gosh, this is, I feel like, oh. Uh... Now for the bacon. Ta-da! Like that. This is special garbage. garbage truck sauce that I'm going to put on my fries. <gasps> Guys, it comes out in threes! Oh my gosh. Wait, this is the best thing I've ever... <gasps> Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I don't know how much to put on, but I'm just going... <laughs> there we go. All right, so this is my creation called the Messy Nessie. So for my dish, I'm going to make a trash burger and put my own spin to it. So what's the first thing I should do? Uh, the first thing you need to do is grab your fries and put them in the fryer. And just like that? Yep. Drop. All right. Next, you're gonna grab your burger patty. And then? And you're gonna put it on the grill. <laughs> just like that. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is grab your lid and put the lid over the top. Okay. So right. you're gonna put your bun in there, kind of warm it up a little bit. All right. Like, which way? Just uh, bottom side down. Yep, just like that. Like that? Yeah, and then you're gonna grab your cheese. Oh, okay, okay. As many as you want. I'll do one. Lift the lid and check to see if your cheese is melted. If your cheese yeah, is melted, it is. take your, bun, your bottom bun first, flip it over there. There you go. Put your patty on the bun. I did that good. We grab the fries, we put the fries on top of the burger. Just grab as many as you can out of there. Yeah, bring them over. And you set them there? Mm hmm So now that I have the fries on the burger, I think I'm gonna put macaroni salad on to make it more trashy. <laughs> because everything has the meat sauce on this truck, I'm gonna put the meat sauce on the burger, so. Okay, um, okay, oh gosh, I don't know how to feel about this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna make a mess. Now, time for some sauces. Let's do some ketchup, and it's gotta look nice. And then we're gonna do some, what's it called? Mustard, and we'll go this way. Okay, so next I think I'm gonna put some onions. Okay, so this is my creation and I'm gonna name it the Burgerani. All right, so here are our creations. The Messy Nessie and the what? Burgerani. Okay, so are you ready to try our creations? Sure. And you get to judge whose is better. Okay. Who's do you so want to try, try hers first? first? Okay. 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 This is the Messy Nessie. Are you ready to try it? I'm ready. Oh. He kind of seems unimpressed. <laughs> it's good. It was really good. Try mine now. Try just, yours. Just take it. Did you want to take I'm a bite? I'm taking that. It's time for the final decision. Are you ready? Whose is better? I'm gonna have to go with the burger on it. <laughs> the burger on you guys. Yes. Wait, why? I don't know. I just. <laughs> 
I, just, I like the burger patty. All right, all right now I'm ready to try my own creation. Me too. Oh, it's all falling apart. Okay, okay cheers. cheers. <laughs> Interesting. I hardly got a bite, but um, mine's like a little spicy with some sweet tangy into it, with some macaroni from the salad, and like the onions are like I don't know. Mine's really good, and the patty is like really good too. Mine has a lot of flavors. It's what it kind of reminds me of like chili fries, but like better chili fries. I'm ready to try yours. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Yours is better. I agree. <laughs> it has a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. This one's really good. This one's good, but that has just like a ton of flavor. Thanks the garbage truck and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what kind of food trucks we get on next time. Bye! Mmm. These are so good. So good. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So we're here with Ethan from the Ridges Churros truck and we're going to put our own spin to their delicious churros. First, I want to say thank you guys for stopping by. Oh, thank we're you. We're a family-run business. We have started in 2015. We started off as a pop-up store actually and then it really grew in popularity so uh, we decided to make a food truck. So obviously you serve churros but what makes it unique? We put them in ice cream. It's churro sundaes. We're known for our handcrafted flavors, cinnamon sugar, salted caramel, Nutella nut, and our original Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles is always a bestseller. It looks good on Instagram. It tastes well. So a lot of people go out of their way just to try some of the, the Fruity Pebbles. So let's get on the truck and put our own spin on some churros. You know, I really love cinnamon and sugar. Okay. So I'm going to... So drop that bad boy in there. Just like that, yep. and then bury it. Yeah. I'm becoming an expert at churro making. There and we then go. after that, just take your tongs and dip it back into the fruity pebble syrup. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, guys, look at this. It looks so cool. All right, and now we're gonna have the you scoop some ice cream for your churro sundae. Okay. All right. All right. So take a cup here. Oh, thank right. you. And then you're gonna start off with the big scoop first. Right. Over here. Okay. Let's see if I'm as good as an ice cream scooper as you were. Wow, you guys. Look, I think this is the most perfect ball. Dude, of... that's like more perfect than me. <gasps> that's so <laughs> nice of you to say. And, and then, then the smaller, the smaller one. scoop. Okay. And then you're just gonna make basically a miniature version of what you just made. Okay. Like that. Yep, and then top it off. <gasps> you guys. Perfect. Look at that, it's like a little snowman. Okay. And then bring it right back now. to the oh, drizzling right. station. Okay. Cut it in half. Okay. And then I stick it in there, right? <laughs> Like that. Oh, and then the other one. Can I put some cinnamon toast? Yeah, definitely. On Just it? take the tong. <gasps> All right, so I am done with my creation and I'm going to call it the Sinessa. So, since it's melting, we need to try it now. I right. uh, will remember the flavors you of this first. for later. Right. Take some ice cream. Oh, that's smart. That's what we should do. I like the fruity and the cinnamon contrast. Really? It's actually really good. Yeah. <gasps> Have you never had that before? I actually never had. It's <gasps> my first time. Well, there's a first time for everything here on Food Truck Fanatics. <laughs> okay, I'm yes. gonna try it. Okay, here I go. Here we go. Mmm. Wait. Mmm. Right? Oh, the oh. fruity pebbles. The fruity pebbles and cinnamon contrast is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a cinnamon fruity overload. Cinnamon fruity overload. That's what it is. All right, so remember the taste. Right. You remember the taste yep, because you have it. to judge which one is better. All right. I think I want to do Nutella. All right. Good choice. Good choice. It's like that, right? Yep. And, and then, then 
And now you bury it with the powder. <laughs> that works. Yep. So now, let's do Nutella. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this looks it's delicious. It's nice and even. Yeah, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Just stick it into the salted caramel. Just bury it. I don't want too much. This is interesting. I don't know how this is gonna taste, but you know what? I'm just <laughs> going. I'm just going with it. This ice cream is really soft. Oh no. All right. Okay. And then and the, the, tiny, the tiny one. Okay. Uh, I did okay. Nice, nice. Nice. Okay. All right. And, and then so now, you want to take it to your drizzling counter. Drizzling counter, and we're going to cut it. Yep. Oh man, you gotta make cut sure your it's even. Cut in half. That looks about right. Okay. So now just stick it in there. Yep, just stick it in there. Like that. Then now you can top it with anything you want. Maybe I'll just go crazy and do some nuts. Let's drizzle it with more Nutella. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, that looks good. So I think I'm gonna name mine the Chirani. Okay, so I'm excited for you to try this. You do it first. Yum. <laughs> I, I really like the the sweet and salty like That's what I was going for. Contrast. It's really good. It makes it so that you don't get too sick of the churro sundae. Okay. Would you guys like some? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. okay you can take the bite first. Oh. Comparing both of ours, they're completely different. So we can't wait any longer. Who is the winner? I think Veronica's is better. I really like Veronica's. <laughs> It had very good flavor. It wasn't overly sweet. Yeah, it kind of had like a peanut butter Reese's piece type flavor to it. Go big or go home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for just Churro Bar and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned to see what kind of food trucks we get on next time. Bye! Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Hey guys, I'm Veronica, I'm Vanessa, and, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So we are here with Ryan from Taco Tuso Truck, and we're going to put our own Meryl Twin spin on their delicious food. Okay, so Ryan, can you tell us what makes your food truck different from other food trucks here in LA? We serve authentic Mexican food, which is fresh and homemade daily. So what is your most popular food? Uh, we have asada fries, which sells quite frequently. We also have guaraches, um, which is a, a fresh corn tortilla topped off with beans, uh, lettuce, uh, the choice of your meat, and uh, sour cream and parmesan cheese. <gasps> How do you say it? Guarache. 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 What does it mean? It means sandal. <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> Why is it? Why do you? Call it a sandal. Kind of like a cultural thing. Oh, okay. I've never tried any of those foods, so let's get on the truck and try some. So we're here on the truck. This is Maggie, and she'll teach you guys how to do our top dishes. So hi, Maggie. Can you please show us around your truck? Of course. Welcome to Tacos 2. So I'm going to show you. This is the stove. This is the steam, the meats, and beans, rice. Yum. And also, we have here all the vegetables and cheese you know, all fresh. And then this is the fryer. Okay. This is, we can make the asada fries. What is this? This is the one of the things that we need to make fresh tortillas. So we take one of this. What is that? Is this it is dough? Dough, uh-huh. And we make it like that. Yum. And then we put another plastic on top. Okay. And when we push it down, oh. that makes the huarache easy. Oh, yeah. You're not supposed to do it manually, but when it's really busy, it's not time to do it, you know? But this is the machine that we use it. And then, see, is that easy for you guys? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Very easy. So you use the same stuff to make the tortilla yes. and the huarache. Mm -hmm. It's ready. Okay. And then go to the steam with the beans. Oh, yummy. Just put the beans on top. 
Okay. Chicken. Do you pre-make the chicken? Everything is fresh. Okay, okay and then lettuce. Lettuce. Uh -huh. Yum. Sour cream. See? Sour cream like this. Ooh. Parmesan cheese. Okay. You have to put it like tomato. Sometimes they like lemon, you know? Mm -hmm. If they like some avocado on top. Cilantro, you know? Yeah, let's put some of that on. See? It mm. smells delicious. I'm it's so excited delicious. to try this. Okay, okay ready? Ready? One, two, three, cheers. Mmm. It tastes like a taco, but in pizza form. <laughs> It's really good. The beans and the chicken are so fresh mm -hmm. and they're so good. So this was amazing. It was really good. Everything was mixed well together and you had the right amount. So it was very well portioned. It was so good. I loved it. Now I can't wait to put our own Merrill Twin Spin on this truck. So let's do it. Yes. And fun fact, she's actually a twin. <laughs> yes, I'm a twin. For this competition, I'm going to make an empanada. So I'm going to try and make my own empanada. Um, is this the right amount? That's okay. Okay, okay. and just right here. Okay. Flip the plastic over, not the other one. Oh, like yes, that one. like that. And this. And then. Like that. <gasps> I did it! Yes. I think I'll just do beef. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just a scoop. Because it's gonna be okay. Right? All right, okay. so like this. Is that too much? That's okay. Cheese. And then to make it a little different, I'm going to add onions in it. Now, with the same plastic. Like this. Okay. It's gonna be hard for you, but try. My grandma would be really disappointed in me. Sorry, Nana. Okay, um, so now. Okay, and then slowly, but on this one. Okay. Because it's not uh, the oil. Yeah, just let it go. Oh no, it broke! <laughs> Ooh. And so it's like cooking and it's open. So what does it do to the inside when it's open? Does it taste bad? No, it doesn't taste bad, but it looks funny. You know, it looks not, not like empanada, no. No. This is not That's real it. empanada. It's really hard to put it on. Well. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> okay, and now, just lettuce. Sour and cream. Sour cream. Whatever you want to put it on. You did a good job. Kind of. <laughs> Alright, so Ronnie made an empanada and hers was a fail, right? Yes. And so I think I can make a better empanada. So I'm going to make one and it's going to be perfect. I just put this here like that. Mm -hmm. And then like that. And oh my gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. Now put some meat in it. So I'm gonna use some pork. Now some mozzarella cheese. Here we go. Oh, with the oh plastic. yeah, with the Together. plastic. Like this. So now I'm going to seal it. Oh, there we go. And then? So now it's cooking. So I'm gonna put some avocado on mine. I like a lot of avocado, and I'm gonna put it on top of the empanada. I'm not sure if that's something you do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna put some tomatoes around it like that. I'll put some lettuce on the side like that. A little bit of cheese right here. I need some limes because you can't go wrong with limes. All right, so this is the favorite part of Food Truck Fanatics. We find out who made the better food. So Maggie, you get to try. I did the beef with cheese and I put onions inside. Hmm, onion. All right. <laughs> I don't really like too much onion, but I'm gonna try. Here. <laughs> I just keep thinking a whole deeper for myself. <laughs> Okay. So if you had to put just one on your menu, juice. you had to put one. Okay. Which which one would you pick? 
I like this one better. Yay! Yes, I like this one better. Kind of Thank you. Yes. Well, now I want to try my creation. Yes, me too. Go ahead and try. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, ready? Cheers! Mm. The cheese and the pork mixed together is really good. So the the beef in mine tastes really good, but what adds a lot of flavor is the mozzarella cheese and the onions, and it just it's like a blast of flavor, and it's actually really good. I want to try. Your empanada is hard to eat. It's pretty good. I want to try yours. No, yours is really good. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit more good. plain. It's simple, but it's good with mixed with everything else. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Taco Tuzo, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. This is the show where we get on some of the best food trucks in LA and learn how to make the food that they're famous for. <laughs> from the Waffles Delier's truck, and we're going to put our own spin on some waffles today. Yes, so Lawrence, can you tell us what makes your truck different than other food trucks here in LA? Well, first of all, it's a waffle truck, which is awesome already. Yes. But what's really killer is our waffles are no ordinary waffle, because instead of the simple batter, it's made with a yeasted dough, so it's a lot more complex in flavor and texture. And then we have Belgian pearl sugar that we mix into it, so when we cook it, it caramelizes a little bit. That sounds very complicated, but sounds delicious. <laughs> the best kind of complicated, the best kind. So what kind of waffles do you specialize in? So we specialize in the Liège waffle, which you'll find in all of our combinations. But our top two would be the ice cream waffle special, which is the waffle with Fossilman's ice cream on top, chocolate and caramel syrup. It keeps it simple, but you get the best elements of ice cream and our waffle. And we also have our Speculoos special, which is without ice cream, but just as amazing, because we have our Speculoos ginger snap spread, and then we put bananas, whipped cream, and chocolate syrup as well. So that sounds doable. Let's get on the truck and try this. This truck smells amazing, and it's a beautiful truck. There's so many it's windows, huge. and it's open. So Lawrence, could you please show us around? So right over here, we have our ice cream, which is filled with Fossilman's ice cream, family owned since 1919. Over here, this is where all the magic happens. This is our waffle iron, a lot of secrets over here. This is where we cool off the waffles so we can prep them. And then we have all of our dough and supplies and topping bread over here as well. Ooh, look at Ronnie. She's like staring oh, yeah. at that Nutella. That's, that's the prescription string. All right, Lauren, so can you show us how to make the classic waffle? Or like, what do you do? That would be the ice cream waffle special. Ooh. But we'll start off right over here. Okay. I'm gonna take one of our freshly prepared waffles, put it right in the center as best okay. as I can. Okay. Some ice cream right over here. Oh, here, I'll, I'll move the plate this way. There we go. We want to help. <laughs> Helping is good. There you go. Just wanna nestle it into place. Yum. Like that. And then you can put it right back over there. That looks like. And some chocolate and caramel syrup that needs going on. Those? Yes. Yes. Who's chocolate? Who's caramel? I'll okay. do caramel. You guys decided. So we just okay. do we the just... prettiest formation that takes up most of the plate. So so like this. Um, that's not that pretty. That is too pretty. <laughs> that's, that's pretty pretty. That looks pretty. You guys have created your ice cream waffle special. This is it. This that is, is it. it. All you did. Well, that's that's easy. so easy. Well, let's take a taste. What kind of ice cream did you use? So this is the English toffee, which we find is definitely one of the customer and one of our own favorites. Wow, English well I'm excited to try it. Yeah, so. Do it. I got a really tiny that bite. That one looks better. All right, <laughs> yeah, I got a big bite. Ready? Oh my gosh. I don't know if we'll be able to top it, but we're totally going to try. We're going to put our own spin on some waffles. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're going to be the judge of who yeah. makes the best waffle, uh -oh. okay? Uh -oh. So what are the different types of ice cream you have that we can choose from? 
So we always have rotating uh, flavors, but right now we have the English toffee, mm -hmm. chocolate dipped strawberry, the French vanilla bean, mm -hmm. coffee and cookies, and cookies and cream. Okay, so before we get into our competition, I think we need to try the waffle by itself so we can see what we're getting into. How long did it take you to make these? Four to six hours usually, depending on how the yeast is working out. Oh my gosh. But it's definitely hands-on. We use all natural, made from scratch, and never frozen components. Dang. Pretty happy about it. And this is your own recipe? Yes, you won't find it anywhere else. Wow. Secret recipe. How we have it originally, just like how Belgians have it, just like put some powdered oh, sugar oh. on it. Powdered sugar. And then just slip it in one of these cool wax bags, make it very, very easy to eat. Oh right. my gosh, let's Ready? take it by One, together. two, three. I don't want to take it by at the same time. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, I could eat that by itself. Me too. This is Me part too. of the reason it tastes good. Can we grab yes, our grab waffle? Plate. Your, yes, grab our waffle. This is a plate, Massa. Wow, sass. <laughs> sass. Okay, all right, so I think I want to do the coffee flavored ice cream. Coffee and cookies it is. Okay. So that's right over here. So let's do that. Just grab your ice cream scoop and try your best technique at your ice cream. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, I got it. I got it. Look at that. Mm. Oh. And I put it on my waffle. That's really nice. You you did it so nice. Oh. 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 <laughs> there we go. Oh, nestle it. <laughs> oh nestle it? Nestle it. Oh yeah, well not crush it, but oh. that's fine. That's fine, that's oh. some artistic flair. So now I'm going to do the chocolate dipped strawberry. Yeah, the chocolate dipped strawberry. And that'll be right over here. Over here? This one's probably going to be more difficult. Oh my, it's like really far but down in there. Good luck. She's I'm like, lose cause she can't if I never cream. come back out of this ice cream thing, tell mommy and daddy I love them. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so... <laughs> Ronnie. It was a journey, but I made it out alive. <laughs> I think I'm going to put some uh, crunchy cookie butter. Ooh, that smells good. I don't know how much I need, but since this is my own Ooh, creation, it smells so good. I'm just gonna, you know Easy. what? I'm just gonna put it on top right there. What a good idea. So for mine, I think I'm just gonna do the chocolate syrup. It's got to look pretty, so um, you want a bunch, so you're just going to fill each little square up <laughs> with, with chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you're filling this up right now. And then now. you have to do, of course, like the top layer. Oh my. Yes. And then, you know what, it's not a bad idea. It's a great idea. And then the powdered sugar. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> There we go. There we go. I want some. I'm gonna make put some on mine. You're copying me. Um, this was my idea first. But you, why didn't you do it first? Okay. Ta-da! Ta-da! Here are our uh, creations. My creation is called the the waffle coffee cookie. And mine is called strawberry chocolate square holes. Now we have to have our judge taste our taste final it. products. I'll try the one that sounds more appealing first. <gasps> Waffle chocolate cookie? Is that what it was? Yes. This is a very interesting combo and very, very interesting placement of the speculatives. <laughs> well, it looks great, doesn't it? I bet it will taste great as well. That doesn't sound assuring. Oh, no. Really? It's yeah. exceptional. Yeah. Exceptional! Like, Speculus really, really brings out the flavor of the coffee a little bit more than usual. Definitely something I haven't had in a while. Really? So you really do like it? Yes, actually. Yes! It's a very good combo. I did something right! Excellent. Okay, try Let's move on to this one. So the name of this one again? The, the strawberry chocolate square holes! Strawberry chocolate square holes. Let's do it. So I will try to remove one of these square holes. Let's get some of this ice cream. Yep. Yep. There you go. Here we go. 
very good as well. Okay. Little, ah, but not a little, exceptional. A little heavy on the chocolate. But, but very good, very if good. If you're a chocolate lover, so, it's good. If you're a chocolate lover, you'll definitely appreciate those filled cho chocolate square holes. So basically, from what I heard, since mine was exceptional, I think I won, right? Well, I guess so, but every, everyone's really a winner here, I think. Oh, oh but, I, but thank you. mine was good. Oh, okay. Me. Everyone's a winner. Come on. Come on. Yay, finally. Okay, I want to try mine. I, I gotta try, try some of this. We're gonna try ours. Okay, gotta get some ice cream with mine and some cookie butter. Gotta get some of that chocolate with mine. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, two three. Mine is so good. This is the best thing I've ever made. I wanna try it. Mm-hmm. Try it. I wanna try yours. Here we go. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't put Nutella on yours. I didn't know how. You could have done it like mine. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of us on Food Truck Fanatics, be sure to download the Go90 app for exclusive episodes. Bye! Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. <laughs> from the Acai Dream Bowl truck, and we're about to put our own male twin spin on their amazing Acai Bowls. So Iman, what makes your truck different from other trucks here in LA? We are the only Acai truck in Los Angeles, and all our fruit is organic, and we make it by the order, so it's all fresh. I've never had an Acai Bowl. Sure, what we can is make it? it right now. Acai is a berries from Brazil. So what is your most popular bowl here? Our most popular bowl is Dream Bowl and it's acai juice blended with the blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, and frozen banana. Okay, so that sounds amazing. I'm so excited to try this. Let's hop on the truck and put our own spin to the acai bowls. So we're on the truck now, and let me tell you guys, it smells so fruity in here. So can you give us a little tour of the truck and what you do here? Sure, absolutely. We have the blender right over here, and also we have all the granola, coconut shaving over here, and fresh fruit that has been cut by the order, and we put it on the bowl and serve it right there. So Iman, you were telling us about how the Dream Bowl is your most popular one, so can you show us how to make it? Sure, absolutely. We're gonna go to the freezer and grab frozen stuff. There you go. We're gonna grab the blender. Oh, okay. okay. So it's right over here. You can get this, this one. Okay. So, and fill it up with the frozen banana and frozen berries. And then we get, grab our juice. Oh, where's oh, the where's juice? juice? Oh, <gasps> ooh, ooh there yum. There you go, are you ready? Yes. We put 12 ounces juice. Now, we blend it. We need to blend. Wow, that's easy. Let's uh -oh. go blend it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to give this to you. Sure thing. So we're going to put it on the blender. There you go. There's obviously a technique to this. Very. So that stick smashes it. Like you can stir it. Yep. Well, so, it's a great blender. I need to get one of those. Go. Our side bowl is ready. Almost. And our bowl is ready. Is that, that it? That's it? That's all you put on it? No, we have to put some fresh fruit and granola and coconut shaving also too. Ooh, okay, let's yeah. do that. Let's put let's some toppings it. on. Okay, so we're gonna have one scoop of granola on the side of it. <gasps> Yum. Yum. And one scoop of coconut shaving. <gasps> yes. Yum. I love coconut And next shaving. step, fresh fruit. Take one banana, peel it. Wow, you're professional there banana you go. Peeler. We will cut it. <clears throat> And <gasps> wow. and it strawberry, pineapple, blueberries, and we're gonna have oh. some chia seeds. What are 
are chia seeds? Chia seed has a lot of omega-3, omega-6 and omega-9. It's really good for weight loss. Oh. And also it's really good for digestion. And the last one is going to be bee pollen. Give you a lot of energy. So it's really good, healthy. It tastes like honey. You can try it if you like. It smells like um, tea slash honey. Our bowl is ready. It looks so pretty and so healthy. So now it's our turn to try it. I'm so excited, this looks delicious. One of the cool things about being on Food Truck Fanatics is we get to try things that we've never tried before. And today we're going to try our very first acai bowl. Acai, acai, acai bowl. bowl. Okay, okay you ready? Cheers. Oh my. It's kind of like a smoothie yogurt, but with food mixed into it. It's so good. I can definitely taste, what were these bee called? Pollen. It's bee called pollen. Bee pollen. I can taste those and it really adds a lot of flavor to it. It kind of has like a um, honeyish tea flavor to it. When you bite down into it, it's powdery and it like kind of melts in your mouth. So that was delicious, but I'm ready to make my own acai bowl. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so I'm going to go first and make my bowl. All right. So two frozen bananas and just like a handful, handful of, of frozen berries. And then you said 12 ounces of acai juice. Okay, I'm nervous for the blending. I'm nervous. Oh my gosh! That's perfect. Oh, okay. So grab one of the bowl. Okay. Yum, look at that. All right, so I made half of my first acai bowl, so now I'm going to add some toppings. I'm super excited, so I do want to do some oats. Granola, I mean. <laughs> and then I saw these things. What are these things again? It's goji berries. I've never had goji berries. I want to try one right now, see what it is. It's really good. It's kind of like a raisin, but it's not that sweet. Mm. It's full of antioxidants, so it's really good. Mmm, tastes very healthy. I saw you had a kiwi. kiwi. Do I cut the sides off Yes, first? please. There we go. <gasps> Yum! Layer them like that. Very nice and pretty. I'm gonna put some raspberries in it because raspberries are my favorite fruit. I want to do some chia seeds because I really liked those bee pollens because I really liked the bee pollens. Yum! This is my first bowl that I've ever made! It looks so pretty, like it's ready for Instagram. Okay, yours looks really good. Since this is kind of like a smoothie, it's kind of melting quick, so we're gonna have Iman try it before it melts, and he has to remember the taste of mine because we are in a competition, and you have to decide which one is better. So, here you go. There you go. Really good combination. <gasps> Yay! Nice. I'm ready to try. Get a goji berry too. Cheers! Cheers! The goji berries kind of add like a raisin taste to it. I tasted a lot of the bee pollen that you put. Mm -hmm. You put a ton in. I'm really glad I tried it, but now it's my turn to make my bowl. Obviously, it's gonna be better because I'm. Come on. Who always makes a better food? Not me. But okay, anyway, so I got my bananas and my berries. 12 ounces. How long have you been making acai bowls? I'm making acai bowl for five years. <gasps> wow, that's a long time. And so now, like this? Go for it. It's ready. Guys, this is actually easier than I thought it would be. Now just pour it and look at that. All right, so now the toppings. So I I kind of noticed that the way you put the toppings on is all for like decoration, like for the look. Yeah, and the flavor also too. So. Okay, I'm gonna make mine where you'll be able to taste everything in one bite. So no presentation will be needed. So. We're gonna make it nice and even all around. Coconut. Let's try the flaxseed. What does flaxseed do for you? Flaxseed is really good for digestion. I'll do some chia seeds too, because I liked those. I thought they tasted nice. This isn't looking very pretty. I'm gonna put some blueberries. Now I wanna do a straw, some strawberries. 
let's use some pineapple. Mine turned out really good. Like, look how pretty it looks. And I didn't even, like, mean to make it look pretty. I'm excited. So that actually looks really beautiful. Everything looks like it was strategically placed. Yes, it was strategically placed for your mouth to enjoy because every single bite you will taste something. There All right, go. so here. So, go around. It's really crunchy. Really so you get crunchy. All the taste. Yeah, and every bite will be and like everything. that. Wow, good job. All right, so now it's my turn to taste it. It looks pretty great, so here we go. Cheers. All right, it is really crunchy. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it is really crunchy, but I do like it. It's pretty good. All right, so who do you think is the winner? Do you remember my taste? Absolutely, I remember yours, but ultimately I have to go with you. Yeah! It was like a quick decision, like no thought. Hers was a little bit crunchy, you know, it has a lot of more seeds on top. Yeah, it has a lot of seeds on it. Mine was more fruity. Thanks, Acai Dream Bowl, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what kind of food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're, you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. This is the show where we get on some of the best food trucks in LA and learn how to make the food that they're famous for. Yeasty Boys Bagels! So we're here with Ben from the Yeasty Boys Bagel Truck and we're going to put our own spin to their delicious bagels. So Ben, can you tell us a little bit about the truck? This is Sasha, this is our baby. We've had her since Coachella last year and this is where we hustle our East Coast bagels out here on the West Coast. So what makes good old Sasha different from other food trucks here in California? I think it's the fact that we love Sasha, we love the products we have on here, we love our customers and it makes it a lot easier to do everything right and make sure everyone's getting what they want. So we love to have fun and we can definitely work our bagel magic on this truck. So what are the most popular ones here on this truck? Our most popular bagels definitely have to be either our Chetty Wop or our Mishka. We've got bacon, a fried egg, and some melted cheese all over a plain bagel. And then we've got our Mishka, which is a vegan sun-dried tomato spread, sliced red onions, and alfalfa sprouts. We can definitely conquer those bagels. So let's go and let's get started. Come on. We'll start with the most important part, our flat top where all the magic happens. This is where our bagels get toasted, this is where our eggs get made, and this is where our bacon gets heated up so it's nice and crisp and sizzly for our sandwiches. Over here we've got our low boy and our line where we keep all of our cold products and where we assemble our sandwiches. You ladies will be spending some time over here. All right. And then behind you, probably the most important part, where we pass out the bagels. Oh, okay. Get to see all those smiles. You mentioned earlier about the Mishka bagel. I want to try and make that. That sounds really, really good. And then on the menu, I saw something with lox. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a huge fan of smoked salmon, but I hope that you see boys can change my mind about smoked salmon. All right, let's get started with the Mishka first. We're gonna grab two everything bagels. Oh. All right, and next, we're going to take our bagels, never so gently, and cut them in half. Keyword, yeah. ever so gently. <laughs> ever so, yeah, you do that because definitely, definitely. I'm going to uh, fail. Let's get the cut sides down there on the flat cut top. Cut sides, like this? Yes, ma'am. Let's do it with number two. Perfect. Now that we've got a nice little toast starting, we're gonna grab a nice scoop here of our vegan sun-dried tomato spread. Ooh, a huge one? A oh big yeah, a nice like that. healthy scoop right down there in the middle. We're gonna take our little schmear paddle here. Oh, and go like this. A nice even spread, just like that. We're gonna move on down and we're gonna grab some red onions here. We're okay. gonna put them on there. How do I do that? Do I just put them on there? Nice and artistic, like, you know, nice. so when you take a bite, you can sense the, you know, the love I, and care that went into it. I will make it amazing then. And then we're gonna add a nice healthy handful of our alfalfa sprouts here. It's the most important part, the flip. Flip. Okay. Oh. Roll it in nice and tight. Okay. And I like to do a nice little karate chop here. <laughs> Nice little karate chop on the other side. And there we have oh, your bagel. Alrighty, next we're gonna get to our locks. 
We're gonna take a nice healthy scoop of our lox and dill schmear right there. I think that looks Perfect. fine. And then you're gonna smear it around. Smear it? That is plain cream cheese with our sliced lox, chopped dill, and red onion all mixed in. Next, we're gonna move on down the line to the very end there. And you're gonna bring your bagel top with you. We're gonna grab some of our caper pesto. And that's to cut the fat of like the nice, rich, creamy cream cheese. So some people like a lot, some people like a little. Next, we're gonna do some sliced radishes on whichever side you're feeling. Okay. Which side do you normally do it on? Uh, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Today, let's do it over here on the green side. That looks pretty. Thank you. It gives Thank it you. color. Right? This is already colorful, but now you have more color. Top it all off with a nice little handful of our sliced Persian cucumbers. Ooh. So then let's take the bottom. Beautiful. All right, let's cut into our creations and see how beautiful they are. Okay. And our Mishka looks like a monster Whoa. over there. Look how beautiful it looks! So they look beautiful and delicious. Let's see how they really taste. I'm excited. Oh, yes. One, two, three. Mmm! <laughs> My god! See, I thought there was going to be way more locks on there, but it's like the perfect amount for me. I like it. Thank you for changing my mind about it. Since both you ladies did so well with your sandwiches, I think it's only fair we take it back to the beginning and have you both make a staple on Yeasty Boys, our game over. We're gonna start with a fried egg on a cheddar bagel. Ooh. After that, we're gonna add two strips of bacon. <gasps> We're gonna add some of our beer cheese and jalapeno schmear on there. Okay. And some tomato. All, All right. right. So, so let's get started. started. Okay. So cheese bagel. cheddar bagel. I think that's. I already know. Cheddar. I'm just gonna grab one. So remember to keep your fingertips up so you don't cut them. There's an art to this. Stage two, the toasting. So okay. what we normally do, just a little bit of butter in okay. there. Yeah, you can let that set down on the grill oh. though. Then you're gonna add a little pinch of salt. Okay, pinch of salt. And we're gonna crack an egg in there. Okay, oops, 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 oops. I totally just failed on my egg. So I'm gonna grab some butter, a little bit, like that. Ooh. And a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt and an egg. Crack All right, egg. Crack my egg. All right. Did I? Did part of the shell go with it? <laughs> How do you like not burn your bagels? I feel like there's like a million things going on at once. I feel like I'm gonna burn my egg. Thousands of years of practice is what it comes down to. Extra well done. We can grab another bagel if you want. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay if hers is burnt. Maybe okay, it's not completely burnt. You know what? Okay. Some people like it burnt. Alright. It might give it it might give it better flavor. We're gonna pull off our little griddle. Perfect. And then what? Take so this. We're gonna take whichever spatula you want. Oh no. And flip okay. it on over. Flip it on over. Yep, because it's already almost cooked. So now we'll take them off. Let's put them on our bagels. Okay. Next, let's each grab a couple pieces of bacon and toss them down on our grill. Oh, grab me some bacon too, please. Um, no, you can grab your own. Rude. All right, if you think it's ready, then let's take her off the grill and put them on top of our eggs. All right, yeah, mine is ready. Careful not to burn yourself. Okay. Oh my, oh my. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, there we go. Here, you can grab yours. I'll yes. fix mine. Okay, mine are ready too. Now he 
said the um, beer cream cheese. Do you think it has actual beer in it? Does it have actual beer? It does. We have cheese reduced in some lager. Does it taste like actual beer or no? All of the alcohol cooks out of it, so it just gives it a little extra flavor profile. So next step, we're going to take a nice dollop and toss it on top of each of our bagels. I like the word choice, dollop. Thank you, thank you. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot. I hope that's... A dollop. That's it's a, a dollop. 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 And finally, we are going to add some tomatoes. Oh, right. I forgot. We need some tomatoes. How are we even going to put these together? Like this. <laughs> perfect. Oh, we also got to perfect the folding technique. And if you don't get the ending right, that put definitely affects who wins. Yes. That is why I'm going to do great. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's do this. Ready? Okay. Ooh, Ooh look at that. So let's see who wins title of Yeasty Girl. All right, here All right. we go. Thank Little you, ben. thank you. There you okay. go. All right. Okay. Okay. That doesn't sound very reassuring. <laughs> hmm. No. Oh no. I want to applaud both of you for getting me to eat cream cheese and for getting me to like it. Really? Yes. But I saw a proper karate chop executed in the folding of this bagel. So I'm sorry, but there is a clear winner. <gasps> Welcome to the Yeasty Boys crew. Thank you, I have a pen. Yay! Oh, <laughs> thank you. Look how cool they are. They're way more they're cooler like, than us. They're, they're, like they're doing LA. The, they're doing we are officially Yeasty Girls. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of us on Food Truck Fanatics, be sure to download the Go90 app for exclusive episodes. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So we're here with Scott from the Nitro Pod Truck, and we're going to put our own Merrill Twin Spin on their delicious ice cream. So what makes your truck different from other food trucks here in LA? So Nitro Pod was built on an RV. We converted the entire RV into a liquid nitrogen ice cream kitchen. And it looks like a spaceship. So what's your most popular ice cream you serve? The most popular flavor is probably cookies and cream. So what does the liquid nitrogen actually do for those of you who don't know what it is? The nitrogen freezes everything instantly. So the ingredients are frozen so quickly, no preservatives, no stabilizers, no carrageenan. None of the stuff that you don't want in your body goes into our ice cream. That sounds amazing. So let's hop on the truck and try some ice cream and nitrogen. So we're on the truck. Scott, can you please show us around? We have our prep area here and then lots of freezer space. And then in the back, we've got our freezing room, which is a lot of fun. So why don't we go check that out? Okay. All right, so I've got some raspberry sorbet prepared for you. Fresh raspberries, we pull out the seeds, we puree it, we add a little bit of sugar. Gosh. So if you grab the handle on that very cold mixing bowl and pour it right in there. All of it? All of it, go for it. Oh my! And so then, we close it up, and then we turn it on. Open that up there. Oh, wow. Scoop a little out. I have some color changing spoons. Now put the spoons in the nitrogen and look what happens. <gasps> now it's purple! <gasps> it's purple. Whoa. Okay, I want to try some of this. Okay. Cheers. Oh my gosh, it tastes like raspberries. This is like the best sorbet I've ever had. So we're back in the front again. I'm so excited to try your signature, most popular dish. So could you please make it for sure. us? Sure, it's cookies and cream. Take that, we give them a nice double, wow, triple so kind of scoop, creamy. get it full. And then almost everybody says, can you please add 
rainbow sprinkles. So we do, we give them rainbow sprinkles and then we give them a color changing spoon, which is reusable because less trash is good for everybody. Ready and cheers. It doesn't taste like normal cookies and cream because this is not what you expect. This is better than a normal cookies and cream ice cream. Yeah, usually it's kind of really hard and crunchy, but this is so smooth Stop. and creamy. Even the cookie part is really creamy too. It's not hard. This was amazing. We love this. Obviously, I can see why this is the most popular one. But now we're ready to start our own creations and have you judge our competition. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Good. I guess I am. I'm ready too. Let's make some um, ice cream. Nitrogen. Nice <laughs> So I'm gonna go first, I'm gonna make my ice cream, but I think I'm gonna make it in a waffle cone. And he has some very pretty waffle cones right here. And then... Grab your scooper. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with like three flavors because I wanna do something crazy. Okay, chocolate. Yeah, my second flavor, I'm going to do the French toast. Okay, so now, coffee. Ta-da! Okay, so this looks amazing already, but I think I want to add some toppings. I think I'll do chocolate since it is a breakfast ice cream. I think we do need to put something somewhat healthy, so I'm going to put toasted almonds. All right. No Sunday is complete without whipped cream. Ah, oh, that looks very good. Okay, so I'm done with my ice cream. Now it's time for you to try it before it melts. And you have to remember the taste because we're competing against each other in it. Mine's definitely better than us. It's called the breakfast ice cream cone. These are three of my favorite flavors, so you kind of oh, dialed man. right in there. This is good. Okay. But I can't reveal how good it is yet. Okay. Because I have to do mine. Okay, ready? Cheers. Cheers. This is pretty good. I know it is. I'm pretty sure I can make a better one. So it's my turn. Step out of the way. I'm going to do something way better. I'm going to do something different than hers. I think I want to do like a ice cream sandwich. Okay. So I'm going to do two chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. Oh my gosh, those cookies smell so good. And what flavor ice cream are you going to use? Mm, I want to do something crazy. Avocado lime. <gasps> it's so green! I'll do some sprinkles. So I want to make it colorful. Did you just dip it in there? You could it's give huge. it a little like side by like side, oh. like rolling it around in. Wow, that looks great. Look, here it is. This is my ice cream. That was really easy to make. Sprinkleado. That go. is what I'm calling it. Sprinkleado. So now it's your turn okay. to try it. Oh yeah, soft cookie. It's interesting. Ew. Oh, it's interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. it's interesting. So, so big it... points for originality. <gasps> so, yay or nay? Very creative, colorful. Thank you, you, breakfast of Champany, three scoops. So both of them were really good, but if I were in the desert and I could only have one thing to refresh me, I would probably pick the cone. Oh. Just because. It's chocolate and French toast, yeah, it's like that coffee. flavor. Yeah, it's really explosion. good, but now But I, I would give my best friend this. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready to try this. Are you ready to try this? Yeah, you try it. Okay, okay, I'll try it first. Okay, here I go. Um, it's good. You wanna try it? I'm just gonna be honest, it wasn't that bad. Like, it was actually really good. It did have a key limey chocolate pie taste. Yeah. Which is an odd combination. It might sound odd, but it was actually really good. I think the ice cream just by itself might be just yeah. a better way to go. <laughs> thank you, NitroPod, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what kind of food checks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So we're here with Severin from.
from the Rich Cheese truck. And we're gonna put our own Merrill Twin Spin on their delicious food. So Severin, what makes your truck different from other trucks here in LA? Well, we start with homemade bread. We have a little mom and pop bakery right here that makes all of our bread. So it's locally sourced, there's no preservatives. It's all handmade bread, fresh baked every morning. We do all of our sauces from scratch and we won the West Coast Bacon Festival two years in a row for the best bacon dish. It is what you're gonna sample today. It's our bacon mac. Okay, so that sounds delicious. I can't wait to sink my teeth into that. So let's hop onto the truck and then put our own Merrill Twin Spin. Okay, so we are on the truck. Severin, could you show us around? Of course. So back here we have our refrigerator, refrigerated cold bar. We've got the grill, the fryers. Right over here we have our steam table, sink, and expo table to send all our orders out. So to start for our award-winning Bacon Mac, we start with a homemade sweet Hawaiian bun, which you can even smell how sweet oh it is. Oh my gosh, it's so Fluffy, sweet. you could smash so it with fresh. your hand. So we're gonna Ooh, cut this it open. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, wait till you try it. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <gasps> so we start with our butter aioli. Okay. We make our own homemade butter aioli mix. Yum. So we butter the inside of this just to get a Ooh. nice, good, toasted, coloring. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to start with putting this on the grill. Nice little sizzle. See that guy? Now we're going to take some of our deep applewood smoked bacon. We're just going to chop it up real quick. We take our macaroni noodles. And we're going to put our macaroni noodles on the grill. We make our macaroni and cheese fresh to order every time. So with this dish, we're actually making our macaroni and cheese on the grill. Let's check our bun. Our bun should be just about perfectly toasted. Give it another 20 seconds. We're actually making a cheesy, gooey patty out of it. Now we're gonna pull our bun. Ooh. See that nice, golden, perfect toasting, That's guys? That's like a perfect toasted bread. That's it. Oh, and the cheese smells really good mixed with the bacon. Ooh. Okay, so now we're gonna pull it off. We're gonna put it together. So now we're gonna put it all together. That looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. So before you get to sink your teeth into the award-winning Bacon Mac, let me cut it for you real quick. Okay. All right, oh here we go. Gosh. Let me plate it for you ladies. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells like cheesy, bacony goodness. Do you ever get tired of this? Take a bite and you tell me if you could ever get tired of that. Okay, well let's take a bite. Are okay, you ready? ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. It's really cheesy. And you can totally taste the bacon in there. And it's just so good. And the bread? Like, and the bread. It's just like there's like a perfect crisp to the bun. It's like a perfect blend of macaroni and bacon. It is so, it's so good. good. I'm taking another bite. Me too. Uh oh. Yeah, you're right. I could never get tired of eating this. Okay, so now that we've tried the award-winning Bacon Mac, we're gonna have our own competition, so we're gonna put our own Merrill Twin Spin on these melt sandwiches. So I'm going to make my sandwich with homemade sourdough bread that was baked this morning. That's what I'm talking about. So that's perfect. That is our buttery aioli mix that we make. That gives it the nice, beautiful coating on the outside of the bread, so just a thin layer. Do I just... So Snack I would go, the... this is the cooler part of the grill. So go, I would put it there first so it doesn't toast too quickly. And you have time to play with the rest of your ingredients. Okay, so guys, I love mushrooms, but this is the weirdest feeling ever. They, they don't, mushrooms are like the most delicious yet disgusting piece of food ever. <laughs> I'm using the claw. I've learned nice. this technique. Yes. So, so just right here. Go ahead and put them on the grill. Nice Ooh. sizzle, there we and go. Then, I'm gonna put bacon too. Ooh, it's going down. Let's what do kind of cheese are we using? Let's do Swiss. Don't be scared, it's only cheese. So what about my bread? Give it a quick flip. There you go, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I'll get so the now, rest of it. Yep, just carefully bring it over there. Ooh. And then Ooh. go ahead and put them on there. That did not feel very nice. It felt like I was touching bugs or something. <laughs> so just give them a quick couple tosses on the grill because the grill's going really hot. There we go. Oh, it's on. And now, the finishing touch. So, I kind of want to use the same bread as you used for the bacon mac. Oh, sweet so, wine bun. Yeah, that was delicious, so I have to use that. Yum, this looks so good. 
So go for the cool Onto part of the, the grill. grill. That's right the cool here. part. So you always want to have a cool part of your grill and a hot part. Okay, well, I think I kind of want to do some chicken. So what I would recommend is filleting a chicken breast. Have you ever filleted a chicken breast before? Uh, no. That's okay. That's why I'm here to help. <gasps> oh my gosh. And this is how we fillet. <gasps> That's what breast. it means to fillet. Yeah. Put it down. Oh, it sizzles. Ready? Now, what type of cheese would you like a to provolone. use? A provolone. Ooh, it's a round one. Let's oh. check your bun just to oh, see yeah. how toasted it is. Let's see. Um, ooh, it's no, pretty toasted. Perfect. It is perfect. I think perfect. it's done. That, that was my feeling. So go ahead and bring the bun over here. Okay. You got it? There we go. We got this one. Wow, those perfect. look good. So now what I would recommend is I would put a little bit of your sauce just on the bun oh, there. on the bun? Okay. Yeah, just go light with it because it is reduced, so it's almost like a syrup. You'll see it comes out really thick. Okay. So now why don't you flip your chicken? Oh, yeah. And then when you flip your chicken, you can put the provolone on top. Okay. Perfect. So now what I would do is pull this back just a little bit and see how it leaves oh. that. And then you can... Professional. Yes. And then go ahead and put it on your bun there. Okay. Which is the bun? Oh, that's the... Organic garden greens. Do you like that? Some tomatoes. Amazing. Thank you. I know. So, I have a feeling we're both going to like our own creations, but it's up to Severin to decide to see who wins the Severin Award. The hardest thing is how do you battle perfect versus amazing? Oh. We're going to have to find out right now. Okay, so you try mine first. Okay. Look at that. The amazing. It looks beautiful. Really good. So, chicken perfectly cooked. Melted cheese, nice use of the lettuce, tomato, nice freshness, the bun, perfectly toasted. Gotta give you an A. That's Yay! really good. And the balsamic? Balsamic just or... is a perfect accent. No, I'm nervous for mine. Try mine now. Never, never be nervous. Always be <laughs> confident. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. We've got the portobello mushrooms and bacon and grilled onions. And, and Swiss cheese. Swiss. Oh man, it's on. Wow, really good. A lot of flavors. The mushrooms are cooked perfectly, not too vinegary. Um, the caramelized onions give it a nice sweetness. Swiss cheese is not overpowering, it's very light in there, but the bacon gives it a nice crispiness with that sourdough. God, I've gotta be honest. I think we have a tie. No, there's no, no such tie. thing as a tie on Food Truck Fanatic. You have to, you have to choose. Okay. I know this is going to hurt, but I got it to use perfect. Oh. <laughs> Finally, you win something. <laughs> well, I'm excited to try mine. I'm excited to try mine too. And cheers. cheers. You're right. It has like the perfect blend of everything. I think this is the best thing I've ever created. I want to try. Because the crispiness cool. of the bacon we'll really sets it off too. Okay. I could see why you picked this one. But mine is still pretty good. It's like the perfect amount of everything. I wish you guys could try it here. Thanks, Richies, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what kind of food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're, you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. <laughs> From the Boburrito truck. Hi. And today we're going to put our own spin on Boburrito's food. So can you tell us what makes your food truck different than other food trucks in LA? Yeah, so uh, Boburrito is a sushi burrito and it's just this new kind of um, idea of fish with seaweed and a bunch of toppings and it's really really good. So that sounds amazing. I'm kind of nervous to try seaweed in the burrito but I think it'll be delicious so let's get on the truck. So we're on the Boba Rito truck. Leanne, could you please show us around? Yeah, sure. So to my left is the ordering station. And to my right over here, we have the cleaning station along with the hand washing station. And so here's our refrigerator that we have on the counter. We hold our fish and our toppings and our sauces. So have you ever had ahi tuna before? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No. Okay, so then let's make an ahi tuna sushi burrito. <gasps> okay, let's do okay, it. Cool. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need your foil, which you will wrap the burrito up in. 
And the next step, what you're gonna need is nori paper, which is seaweed. So you're gonna take your rice. Okay. And you wanna cover the corners of the seaweed with rice because when you roll it, it helps it uh, stick better and it just helps it roll better in general. Okay, so when you said sushi burrito, I was thinking like an actual tortilla. So the seaweed is the wrap to the sushi burrito. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so the next step after the rice is you're going to want to put about two scoops of the tuna. And then after that, you're going to want to take some crab meat and you're going to put it like this. We're going to put some avocado. And then next up, we're going to put some jalapenos. Are you guys? Yeah. Okay, jalapeno. Okay. Oh, no. Don't put a lot. <laughs> Don't put a lot. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit. We'll just drizzle it. Green onions actually taste really good on this. Ooh. Okay. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put on some sauce. So here. What sauce is this? This is eel sauce. So eel sauce is really good. It's really sweet. So then what you're gonna want to do after that is you're gonna want to roll it. Ooh. And that's the burrito. Yummy. That looks good. So now it's our turn to try the ultimate sushi burrito. Okay, are you ready? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> huge fan of raw fish if I'm gonna be honest but I like some sushi so I'm willing to give this a try me too all right here we go let's we gotta be brave okay mm. wait that's actually really good like I wasn't like expecting that it's like a sushi roll but more flavor it's really good but I feel like it kind of tastes like sriracha or something is that yeah, so the spicy tuna is made with sriracha and uh, sesame oil. Oh, wow! I didn't think I would like it. This is and really like, good. The eel sauce adds like a lot of flavor too. I thought the seaweed would be more seaweedy. I think I just made up a new word. Mm -hmm. You did. So we love these burritos and we're super excited to create our own thing. So let's get to it. Instead of you guys making burritos, we're going to have you make some tacos. That's, an that's another thing. <laughs> so for our toppings, what we have are jalapenos, green onions, fried onions, and we have avocado along with some eel sauce and spicy mayo. I don't even know what to do. Like I didn't know like sushi tacos were a thing. I think I'll go with spicy tuna. So whatever you do, don't break the shell. It's super fragile. Oh, that's true. Now, I think I'll put some jalapeno. I'll put some of this, these onions in it. Good choice. They add a lot of flavor. They do. And then I'll do the eel sauce. Because I liked that. Okay, so I've got my taco. It actually smells really good, so I'm excited to see if this will win the taste test. Oh, now it's Nessa's turn to make the taco. Okay, here's the taco. I think I want to do crab meat. Oh, this is weird feeling. Some avocado. I'm gonna put some fried onion. Okay, I'm gonna put some of the eel sauce on it because it was pretty good, even though I kind of think that sounds <gasps> look at that guys look at how that design with the sauce all right so here are our final products I think mine looks the most beautiful -est. um mine looks pretty good too so what's in that um it's a secret it's called the onion crab so I'm guessing there's onions and crab in there uh, now it's my chance to pick who made the better taco okay. this one. I hope it's good I got you. <laughs> it's really good. So now let me try this taco. I really like yours. I like how it's really spicy because I love spicy food. So the one I picked, your spicy oh. tuna taco, just because it's really spicy and I love spicy food, but yours is really delicious. Well, thank you. It's really delicious. Well, now I'm excited to try mine. Yeah, I want to try, try mine, mine now. Okay. Ready? And cheers. cheers. Mine tastes exactly like a California roll, but with onions and a taco shell. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know how to describe mine. Like, it tastes like a taco. The onions make like, it gives it a really good flavor and the eel sauce too. You wanna know what else adds to it? Is like the corn tortilla shell. Yeah. Like, it makes it taste like it a taco. It tastes like a taco <laughs> and it tastes really good with it, surprisingly. Thanks, Bobo Rito, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm 
Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. And this is an episode you won't want to miss. Woo! So we are here with Court from the Blast Ice Cream Truck. And we're going to put our own spin on their liquid nitrogen ice cream. Obviously what makes this truck cool already is the fact there's liquid nitrogen. And we've never tried liquid nitrogen, so I'm really excited. I'm sure that's what makes your truck different from other food trucks. But what would you say makes it different? Well, we are California's first liquid nitrogen ice cream food truck, which is a much better way to make ice cream and do as much as we can that's organic. Everything is scratch made. We have no chemicals, emulsifiers, dyes, no syrups, nothing like that. Using liquid nitrogen is uh, boiled at negative 320 degrees. So when you freeze something, the faster you freeze it, the smaller the ice molecule that develops. So therefore, using liquid nitrogen, you have a much buttier, textured, smoother ice cream. Ooh, guys, science. So what is your most popular dessert? I think right now, being the summertime, it's going to be the s'mores. Which, Ooh, s'mores. Which is a homemade graham cracker crust frozen into our ice cream, brown sugar marshmallow cream. That's our own recipe as well. And then topped with our house-made chocolate. All right, so I'm super ready to get on this truck. So let's go. So we're here on the food truck. And let me tell you, it doesn't even feel like we're on a food truck. It feels like we're in like a little tiny store. Court, could you please show us around your lovely truck? Over here, we have our request window. And then we move over here, which is where all the magic is done. These are the mixers where we make each ice cream custom ordered. We have our ingredients, so we can make each one. We come over back over here to our finishing station where we have all our fun stuff, torches, chocolate, butterscotch. Torches. torches. Oh, it's going to get fun. Well, I'm super excited to have you show us how to make the so much s'mores. s'mores. Guys, that is such a creative name, so much s'more. So all of our ice cream starts off with our organic base. For the s'mores, we like to do a little about a little over four ounces of ice cream base to start. Whoa, that looks so silky. Ooh. I like that word. And then, this is our homemade graham cracker crust. Everything on the trailer is homemade. That looks so yummy. This one starts off very simply, just with that. So we're gonna lift our mixer. Let's turn this on. And here comes the fun. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow, it's so cold. So as that's boiling off, it's freezing the ice cream. And oh. once the smoke's gone, there's no more there, so it's totally safe. Oh wow. It's like popping. So you hear it starting to ice up now? Yeah. Just a little bit. You don't want it too much because it can't get too hard. Whoa. Now we have ice cream. What? That's it? That's it? That's it. That was so easy. It's like so simple. It is very simple. So then we take our ice cream. Oh my gosh. We have our bowl. <gasps> it's like Ooh, a so perfect lost. soup. And then it gets really fun or even more fun, I should say. This is our also homemade marshmallow cream. <gasps> marshmallow cream, oh. So we put that on. What is and that? since we already made it cold. Oh my gosh, oh, it's oh, what are you doing? <gasps> oh. oh, so that's what you meant by the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> the actual flamethrower. Then we take also our homemade chocolate sauce. And we cover this side. It smells like a s'more. This is heaven right now. Oh my gosh, these are wooden spoons. They are. They're from a renewable birch forest, and all of our cups are made from pressed sugarcane fibers. Let's try this before it melts. Cheers! Mm. It's literally a cold s'more. When you definitely want that campfire feel, but like you don't want to be hot, get the ice cream version. You can taste like a little bit of crunch of the graham crackers. It's like the perfect mix. So this is really good, but I can't wait to do our own competition against each other, see who comes up with the best dessert. So I'll put so you're some gonna in here. do two and a half of those. I'm gonna make strawberry ice cream. I think this is good. So I'm just put it in there like that. Put some graham cracker in too. Yum. It'll be a chocolate strawberry. It's very strong chocolate, so don't get a ton in there. Oh, okay. I don't want a lot. Then. Turn this mixer on. I'll do it for okay. you. Okay. Also, it's About mixing there. it. And then slowly pour some of this in. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no. It's, it's like popping out. It doesn't look too nice. <laughs> we'll fix it with toppings. This one's our house-made butterscotch. 
Oh. This is our actually our chocolate sauce. And this is? This is balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze? I'm balsamic. gonna try that. I'm gonna make a pretty design. I'll do vanilla with the cream. So just turn this open and squeeze this lightly. Oh, okay. Squeeze it lightly, okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sorry. It just exploded everywhere. Ah! There. You only got on half of it. Yeah, because I'm gonna put two popcorns on the other side. Three, like that. And then if you guys want, I brought a little something extra just for you guys. What is that? And that's gold dust. Gold dust! I'm putting gold dust on mine. Sparkly! And that's edible? It is. Look at that. Look how beautiful mine looks. This is called the gold freeze. All right, so we're all going to try it at the same time because it's kind of melting, so we need to eat it before it melts. So let's, we're all going to do it together. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's okay. Uh. I might remember that one for a while. Oh. That popcorn was not a good choice. Mm -mm. So remember this taste, because we're gonna taste mine, and mine's gonna be a lot better. Two and a half shots of this. I'm gonna put popcorn inside. Ooh. You want yeah. a vanilla, right? One, two. There go. That's it? Yep. Okay, ready? Oh no, I'm so scared. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, so just like lightly, right? Lightly I'm so scared! Why isn't just it? Just go cream? all in. Oh. It's like whipped cream. It's almost like a goat cheese whipped cream. And then we wanna put some chocolate sauce like this. All about presentation, guys. Add a few little popcorns in the middle. Ta da! All right. All right, let's try it. Are you nervous? I'm, I'm a little nervous. You on this are? One. You've never made this combination before? I have not on this one, no. To new things. Cheers. The silence is deafening. I feel out. It tastes nasty. That's what not it tastes like. Not after you swallow it. The goat cheese is what got it for me. The ice cream by itself with the popcorn and vanilla is actually really good. Yeah, that's not that bad. The toppings is what ruined it. <laughs> Whose ice cream was better? Well, it was a tough one, but I think I'm gonna have to go with the one that didn't cause anybody to spit it out. <laughs> so that's mine! Yay! Thanks, Blast Ice Cream, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what food trucks you wanna see us get on next time. Bye! Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica, I'm Vanessa, and, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So we're here with Daniel from the Scent of a Bun Truck, and we're going to put our own spin on their delicious burgers. So can you tell us what makes your truck different from other food trucks here in LA? Well, right here at Scent of a Bun, we make our food nice and fresh, ready to order. As soon as you come to our window, we make them right away. Never frozen, fresh and easy and our customer service is top notch, and plus the love that we put in every single burger. Aww. So what's your most popular item here on Son of a Bun? They are very popular, but the most popular one is the Western Burger. Ooh, yum, what's on that? Our Western Burger comes with a fresh peeled bun, pepper jack cheese, smoked bacon, our ground beef, and barbecue sauce with fried onions. Well, that sounds delicious. I can't wait to put our own Merrill Twin spin on Son of a Bun truck, so let's get on. So we have arrived on the truck. Daniel, could you show us around, please? Well, hello, internet people. This is a Son of a Bun truck right here. We got our pape station right here, our grill, another fridge, and our buns. Ooh, you were telling us about the Western Burger. When I think of the Western Burger, I think of like a delicious, juicy burger. Can you show us how to make the Western Burger? With pleasure. Yay! Okay, so let's start by grabbing the meat. Fresh meat, see? Not frozen, no frozen particles at all. We throw a little bit of seasoning on that sucker right here. Is that secret seasoning? No, it's pretty much a uh, steak seasoning, but since it's coming off my hands, it's special. Ah, oh, very special. <laughs> So Love many it. people don't like to press down on the burgers, but I kind of do just to give it a shape a little bit. Not too much, just to give it a nice roundness right here. Oh, wow. wow. And since we touched the raw meat, we take off our gloves again. Oh, okay. We get down low, make sure it's an even slice right here. 
Move over here, we get some butter. Butter's a good key right there because it gives it extra crispiness right here, make it nice and toasty. Our meat gets cooked like halfway up and that's nose is ready to get flipped. Okay, okay. So we get nice and under it. We get a nice little flip, booyah. Mm. Oh look! Oh! We steam our burgers a little bit, so give it a nice little cook. Then we grab our fries. One of you want to grab the barbecue? I grab the barbecue. And give it a nice uh, season, or, I mean, a dressing. Okay, and the next one can put the onion fries right here. Fried what, onion. Which side do we put it on? On the bottom. It's gonna go on Is the this bottom. the bottom? Yeah, that's the bottom. Oh no, I feel like I'm making a mess. It's okay if you oh, make no. a mess. Okay, Vanessa, you want to grab one slice of bacon, please? We split it up in half. Okay. Oops. And set it up on top of the burger. All right. The presentation is key because you always eat with your eyes first, then you eat with your mouth. Oh, that is so true. Okay, now we grab the cheese, place it on top. Then we grab our top and squeeze a little bit of water in it. Go crazy. There you go. And while we wait for that, we grab our fries. Ooh. Just a flip, twist, let all that salt. Okay, so it's ready to go. Ooh. We just slide that bad boy on top right there. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. We close it off, show a little bit of the baking, show everything so they can see what they're about to eat. And wrap it up right here like oh. this. Give it a little twist. Oh my gosh. Like that. And then to top it off, it's a little bit of fry. Oh. A little bit? A little bit. And Just a little. Right here. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my Guys, this looks amazing. And it smells so good. It smells like the best burger you could ever have. Let's try fries first. Okay, okay. I gotta make okay. sure I get one with like good seasoning. Okay, ready? Cheers. Wow, that's so good. Do you wanna take a bite first? Yeah, I'll take a bite first. I'll take one. Oh my goodness gracious, son of a bun. The burger is amazing. It's juicy, it's flavorful, it's tender, really good. And the barbecue sauce adds like the sweet, but like spice to it. And it's the so onions kind of add like a little bit of saltiness. I think we're ready to make our own burgers now and put the Merrill Twin spin on it. What do I do? I've never put an egg on a burger before. Okay, what we'll do is we'll grab this like this, a little harder, go all the way around it, crack it, crack it, crack it, crack it. Okay, now you can split it open now. Okay. Two hands. Go. Then we sprinkle a little bit of salt, a little seasoning. Okay, so just spray water right here. Yeah. There you go. Then we're gonna grab our beef patty right there. All right, one got one. That one right there. Sprinkle a little bit around, yeah, there you go. Like that. Smack it down. And then smack it down. Then we sprinkle the top. Sprinkle the top. So let's slice our bun real quick. Oh, okay. So watch that, your fingers, stick them all up with, stick your fingers that, up like oh, that. So okay. you wanna slice your fingers, get it nice and straight, nice I little butt, butt saw. And if it helps you, you can even do a little chainsaw action. I think that's good. Oh yeah, gotta put some butter on them. Put some butter in that. You don't wanna put too much. Oh, is that a lot? Yeah, kind of, you can kind of like dip it on the side so it won't okay. get too much. Put them there. Smack, you can smack it down too, make it a little exciting. Boom, got some fries right here. Okay, I'm nervous for fries. Then pour some over here in the basket. So I'll try Thousand Island. I'll just do a little, and I put now. Just on top, and then if you want to put the egg on top right here, that facing down. Like this? Like booyah. Booyah. Oops, I dropped one. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> okay, I did it. <laughs> That's fine, just go like that sprinkle, flip. There you go, flip again. Oh. It's okay for the spinach, no worries. Uh, let's check on the burger. Oh yeah, the burger. So I want to put avocado on it. Okay, let's work this avocado right here. Do I put it on the burger right now? Uh, yes, because it's ready to go. Like this. I'm gonna make it nice and neat. Nice and pretty, because remember, you eat with your eyes first, and then your mouth. What cheese are you gonna want on there? Uh, American cheese. Put it on top. And then we need water. Get your steamer and water. And with American cheese, it melts a little faster. Do you think it's done now? Let's give it a look. Oh, it's oh, done. Oh, yeah. That looks intense. Okay. Nice and firm. Grab it. You don't want to drop the burger. Okay. This should be a challenge to not drop the burger. Remember, bottom on the bottom, top on top. Ooh. Look at that. And then 
boom. Okay, then like this, right? Uh, and then, oh dear, this is harder than it looks. Let's go, we got customers ready. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, there. And, and then, then top it out with some fries. French fries, put some there. Okay, this is the Avo Ignessa Burger. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> Avo Ignessa! <laughs> okay, so I'm excited to try and make my Mine burger. It smells good, smell it. I'm gonna be honest and say that it actually does look really good. <gasps> Your burger. Thank you, that's the nicest See, thing you've ever said to me. Sportsmanship, guys, goes a long way. <laughs> now get out. Oh. <laughs> Grab a bun. Nice and straight line. Grab the knife nice and firm. There you go, get even with the knife so you can know what you're doing nice and straight. There you go. All right, so now a little bit of butter like that. There you go. You don't have to be too gentle on it. We can go a little rough. There you go, next one. There you go. Okay. Bag of fries. Okay, so I think I'm going to do, this is spicy ranch. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna go crazy and do two sauces. Okay, this is Spicy Ranch. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Let's do crispy onions at the bottom. And now, lettuce. Oh, the fries. <laughs> See, they're not ready, they'll have a nice color, so let's shake them up a little bit. That way we can get a nice little mix. Let's check our beef again. This is too much to remember. I keep forgetting about everything. Oh, jeez. Okay, we had cheese, and are we gonna add anything else besides the cheese? Um, I think that's it. That's it? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Let's steam that bad boy. There we go. And let's get our fries. The fries should be ready. I feel like I'm just like running everywhere. There you go, that's the speed we gotta work on. Now there's a little trick right there. Get them all in there, get them all in there. There you go, we can leave those strikers later. Okay. Put them right on the side like that. Okay. Here comes the real trick. Let's go. Let's put some seasoning on that sucker. You sprinkle and shake. Sprinkle and shake. <laughs> oh no! There you go. Unless you want to throw another cheese on that and do it over. Nope, I think that looks good. Okie dokie. So slide that bad boy on there. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, the twins still have the same technique on wrapping. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so this is the favorite part of Food Truck Fanatics, the taste test. So we cut the burgers in half and now you get to judge which burger is better. So far presentation looks good. Evenly matched with a nice little medium well. I like the avocados. Let's do this. Is it good? Really? <gasps> he did the thumbs up and put his head back. That means it's really, really good. So now he's gonna try mine. I gave it a name. It's called the R&B, which stands for the Ronnie Burger. All right, here I'm we go. Nervous. Here we go. I hope it tastes good. Oh, you see how much juice came out of that? <coughs> oh. He, he, just did, he did the same thing as but you. But he didn't tilt his head back. So if you had to choose which one to make a burger on your truck to sell, a Vanessa burger or the R&B, the Ronnie burger? To put on the truck, personally, we'll try this one right here. Yay! Okay, but like, your personal. Me personally, I will go more a little bit more this way because I'm not too big of a fan on egg, but they're both delicious though. I think Ronnie won because he personally liked her burger, but he said he would put mine on the menu. Now we get to try our own burgers. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited. Me too. Okay, ready? Yeah. Cheers. Mine's really good. It has a little tiny kick to it, and I put the pesto mayo sauce on it with the spicy ranch, and it's like a really good combination, surprisingly. And then the onions, a crispy feel to it, and then the burger, I think I seasoned it pretty well, and the cheese is just melted on there. Here, try mine. Mine's more flavorful though. Yeah, it has more flavor. Thanks, son of a bun, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys!
guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So we're here with Lauren from the Tropic Truck, and we're about to put our own spin on their delicious food. So Lauren, can you tell us what makes your food truck different from the other food trucks here in LA? Yeah, so we do a hybrid of Caribbean food and comfort food. So we do jerk chicken quesadillas, Ooh. crazy fish, seafood combinations. So what's your favorite food here and what's the most popular dish here? Definitely the mahi-mahi bowl. Yeah. It's really fresh and it's got my favorite plantains in it. <gasps> I love plantains. They're my favorite. <laughs> yes. So all of that sounds good. I'm excited to try and make this. So let's hop on the truck right now. So we're here on the Tropic truck and it's blue and it looks tropical already. <laughs> so Lauren, can you show us around? Yeah, sure. This is our um, this is our cold line. We keep everything refrigerated up here. So we have uh, you know our fresh pico de gallo, our limes, our avocados, our plantains we're gonna fry, our cheese. This is the plancha, it's very important. This is what we're gonna cook the fish on. These are our rice cookers, we make a lot of rice. So on the other food trucks we've been on, it's been a lot of men who have been working on there. So it's really cool to see a lovely lady like yeah. you working here. And so you've come up with all the recipes mm -hmm. yourself? Yeah, they've evolved quite a bit from the beginning, um, but now they're dialed in and perfect. So you said something about the mahi-mahi bowl, and so we want to learn how to make that. Can you show us how yeah. to do it? So the first thing we're going to have to do is fry the plantains. <gasps> plantains! <laughs> Let's do it! Oh my! Oh. Almost make a fist so that you don't cut your fingers, you know, like oh. that. And then you're just going to slice it like that. You want to try? Yeah. Okay. A little more? Or is that no, good? that's good, okay. that's good. And then I'll show you the next thing we do is, um, we're going to take it, see these little uh, lines? You know, it's really similar oh, to a yeah. banana. So you're just going to pick one that looks good. Wait, what is the difference between plantains and bananas? Well, they call plantains like the big banana. They're, they're family. There's not oh. a big difference. They just grow larger. Okay, and then so you want to slice it? We're just going to cut it like this. Okay. Someone want to toss them in the fry basket? Okay. Excited. Okay, I think they're ready. All right. Watch out, it's hot. There we go. Those look yummy. They smell delicious. You guys ready to make some fish now? Yes. yes. So we're going to season the fish with this blackening seasoning. Okay. okay. You guys want to do it? Sure. Just coat it pretty well. Coat it pretty yeah, well. Don't worry, okay. you, won't, you won't put too much. You might put too little. There you go, there you go, there you go. Mm, it smells very spice worthy. <laughs> All right, let's put it on the grill. Here we go. Oh! Okay. So we'll give it like 20 more seconds, then you can flip it and then put the bowl on top. So why are we putting the bowl on top? It's steaming it. So okay. it's steaming it and searing it on the outside at the same time. Nice. Ooh, okay. You got it. Nice. Yum. All right, so let's just put this on here for just a second. Then we're going to take it off. One of you guys is going to put some moho on it. Okay, I'll put moho. Or we're going to put lots of it on it and then it'll be done. Just to seal in like that last bit of moisture. Everyone makes their own kind of moho. It's like a, yeah, like a limey sauce. Just coat it. That looks good, that looks good. Like that? Perfect. Now, that's when the magic happens. Oh, the oh. magic. Now when it starts to split a little bit like this, then yeah. you know it's done. Oh, okay, secret, guys. It's fish splits, that's when you know it's done. Okay. Wow, I feel like a pro. Okay, here we go. So first thing, let's grab a bowl. We're gonna put rice in it. Rice. So this rice, it's a uh, saffron rice. And saffron is what? It's from a flower that only lives for one day. And um, a it's flower really, that only lives yeah, for it's, one it's a day. Crazy, it's a crazy spice, and it's expensive. And you only need like a tiny bit, and it's really strong. Put like a little for the bed of the bowl, basically. Okay. Because we're still going to put the fish in there and some beans like that? and the plantains. Perfect. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, black beans on it. Is that enough? Yeah, perfect. Yay! Next we're going to put some plantains around the side of the bowl. The way we like to do it is around in a circle. So like every bite you get a plantain. And then the next thing I like to put in it <gasps> is... Yeah. Pico on everything in this truck. Yes. That's the rule. That. 
So we put a bunch of pico on the side, and then we make some um, this limey slaw because it kind of cools everything off. We put a little bit of that on the side. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and put the fish on. Who wants to do that? I'll do it. How do I put it on? Oh, uh, you can use a spatula or your hands, whatever you feel most comfortable with. We're gonna put a little bit of a lime on here. And then last is this. <gasps> Avocado! Yes. So obviously, it's all about presentation here on the Tropic Trek. Look at that. It looks beautiful. It looks so good, and it yummy. smells. Delicious. It smells like a tropical vacation that I'm ready to sink my teeth into. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'll just take multiple bites. Oh. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Don't forget this. I forgot to tell you. This is, what is um, this? it's our mango habanero sauce. It's oh, hot, no. but it's really good. It's got a lot of flavor. It's just a drop. Just a drop? Yeah. Okay. Can you put a drop on mine? She's like shaking. Oh dear. Oh. Nicely done. Nicely done. Perfect. Spicy sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's good, right? It, I mean, the mango is so good. It's just if you don't like spicy, mm, it's got. Spicy. I told you. Oh, I like it's it. Spicy, but <laughs> it's not it's that good. bad. Guys, it's like a mouthful of flavors. Like you got a little bit of like this like nice spice to it, and then you have. The pico de gallo with the lime flavor and corn. And then you avocado. have the plantain with the sweet and the coleslaw as like sweet limey. So now I'm super excited to put our own twist on the Tropic Truck. I don't know how we're gonna make something better than this. I don't know, but this we'll is really try. good. Yeah, it'll be hard. <laughs> okay, so I got my mahi mahi right here and I'm ready to start making my wrap and make it better than her which most likely won't be better because she keeps winning everything. I have never made mahi before. I've made tilapia, but I've only done it on like a pan and put it in the oven. So you're just gonna squirt a little bit of clarified butter right there and then we're gonna toss the fish on there. Toss the fish. Nice. Boom. Now we're gonna let it sear for about a minute. Nice. Perfect. Here's your mojo. I'm gonna give it a good shake because there's lots of spices in there. Nice, perfect. Okay. All right, now just douse it. Yeah, exactly. See? Do you think it's done? Yeah, it's good. Oh. That's how oh. we're gonna put it in the wrap. So here's your rice if you wanna grab some. Yes, let's grab some rice. Here's your little rice spoon. So how much rice? Um, Maybe two of those. Two of those? Yeah, two. Not too much, because you're you're gonna put fish and lots of stuff in there. It's doing okay job so far. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I would do the fish next. And I just put it in there? Yeah, just you can just pick it up. We put like we put a whole fillet on there because we're like kind of crazy. But yeah, it, it fits. See, it's good, it's good size, like that. Okay. Cause I want a limey feel to it. And then I have this salsa rosa over here if you want to put a little bit of, I know one of you guys wanted to put a little bit of that on. Do you want me to put a little on there for you? Just a tiny? I'll, you got it? I'll be careful. Don't put, be careful. It might burn <laughs> your mouth. I'm like really scared. No. And so now I want some pico. Now I just have to wrap it. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Good luck. Take the, take the sides in first like this. Like this. And then use your thumbs to pull it up. And then use your pinkies to scoot this towards you. Uh huh. Nice. Did I do it? Yeah. It looks okay. Look! I'm so happy about this. Beautiful. It looks good. I picked out my fish nice and special. Okay, now I need to season it. I'm gonna put some butter. My fish fillet. I'm getting some rice. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Take some beans. All right. My beans. I think this is looking fantastic. Put the fish on like that. Oh, I don't know how you did it for hers, but I'm going to. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, 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 there you go. <laughs> now I'm going to put some. Lime coleslaw on it. 
just some right there. So, and I'm gonna put a little bit of pico. All right, here we go. I'm cutting the avocado. Ooh. Okay, so here's mine. Look how pretty it looks. Let's see you fold it. All right, I'm going to try to fold it. How does she fold it? So like this. And then, okay. Ooh, I think I did it. Ooh. Wanna slice it? Yeah, I'll slice it. You did at an angle, right? Look at it! So these look delicious, but I have to taste them to know which one is better. Mine is huge compared to yours. Yeah, mine's like a little baby! Mine is gonna fill more <laughs> stomachs, just saying. It's hard because this one has a spicy mango that I love, and this one has avocado, so it's like... <gasps> the Vamahi wrap. Because it's Vanessa Mahi, you know? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll try some. Very fresh. Mm. It is fresh. Super mm. fresh. <laughs> it really is good. Mine is called the Mahit. Right. Mahit. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Nicely done. Right. If I don't win this, I at least I win the pun contest. For sure. Something about the mango, it just makes everything pop. Can you taste it? The mango in there? It's good, right? So in your opinion, who do you think tastes better? Okay. Well, I okay, this is hard. I love I love both of them. You guys did a good job. You even cooked the fish on the grill and everything. Very, Thank you. very impressive. Thank you. No burns, no emergency room. Good. Wow. Um if I have to pick, I think I have to pick no. this one because the mango the habanero it's like makes really everything. Good. She just put the perfect amount. I saw her, I thought she was being like a little crazy, but she put the perfect amount. Yours is super fresh because you put the lime on it. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I, it tastes really good. Yeah, limey. With the yummy. limey coleslaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very tropical. Okay, so we're switching. We're going to taste each other's. I'm excited. Here One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers. So I really like mine because it has this really fresh taste to it and with a little bit of kick. It's like spicy, but like mango sweet, but like still really spicy. And then you have like the beans in that rice. The rice is really good. Yeah, I think that really adds good. a lot of flavor to it. I feel like it tastes like, it's very citrusy. It has like a lot of lime taste to it, and especially with the pico and avocado. Thanks to the Tropic Truck, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what food truck you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Bye. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and, and you're, you're watching, watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. <laughs> Doug from the grilled cheese truck, and we're about to put our own spin onto their delicious grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay, so Doug, what makes your food truck different from other food trucks here in LA? To start off with, this is the one and only grilled cheese truck. We basically have any cheese that you could think of. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, do you have jack cheese? We have pepper jack cheese. Yes, we yeah. Oh, let's see, uh, cheddar cheese? Cheddar. Swiss? We have Swiss, we have American. Oh my gosh, you have everything. So what's your most popular grilled cheese sandwich? The most popular grilled cheese sandwich is a cheesy mac and rib, aka the fully loaded. It comes with two slices of cheddar. We have barbecue smoked pork, caramelized onions, and our southern mac and cheese. Yum, that sounds so good. So are you guys hungry? Because we're hungry and we're ready to hop on this truck and put our own Marilton spin on the cheese sandwiches. So let's go. So we're on the truck, so Doug, could you show us around, please? Sure. So this is where we start off, where we take the orders right here. Build the sandwiches over here, this is our line. We have a steam well where we keep all the hots. Ooh. This is the grill right here, the magic happens right here. All right, so we talked about the fully loaded being your most popular item. Show us what we have to do to make it. Let's make it. Let's do it. Well, first of all, we start off with two slices of French bread. French bread. French bread. Two slices of cheddar cheese. Yum. Come in here and we get a nice scoop of the Southern Mac. That looks good already. I would just eat it by itself like that. Then we just throw it on the grill. 
We're gonna add barbecue smoked pork and some caramelized onions to it. Ta-da! Okay, so this looks amazing. And it smells good. It smells so good. Let's try it. One, two, three. Cheers! Oh! This is too good to share. Tastes like heaven, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If heaven had a taste, it would taste like this. Are you ready to put our own Merrill Twin spin on these sandwiches? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm excited to see what we can come up with. So, I think I'm going to go crazy and try all of the cheeses. Here's this. Um, I'm going to put it under here. That's a large piece of cheese. Parmesan. Don't mind if I do. What is this? It's goat cheese. I actually like goat cheese, but I've never seen it like that. Why does it look so different from like other goat cheeses? Like what? It's mixed with uh, sun-dried tomatoes. That's it. Some brie on there, and that's gonna be it. That is a this is ton interesting. Of cheese. You think it's gonna taste good? <laughs> let's let's find out. Don't fail. It is time for my turn to make the cheese nessa. So I'm gonna do cheddar. And then I want to do some hot foods. Oh, oh my gosh, it's hot! I'm going to put some bacon on it. And then some caramelized onions. Okay, so now it's time to put it on the grill. All right, and voila! It's very nice, very nice. It's cheese nessa! It didn't scary. scare me. So, is there a technique to cutting a sandwich? There is. You call it the claw. The claw. The yeah. So you make like a like a claw. Make sure you know you don't want to cut off your fingers, and you just give it one good slice going down. <laughs> that was good. Okay. My turn to cut. Okay. There we go. Ooh, look at mine. All right, so now it's the final test for Doug to decide whose grilled cheese sandwich is the better one. They both look really good, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see which one I want to try first. Oh, but I'll go ahead and try out this one okay. since it was made first. All right. No so we have a dun, 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 dun. every cheese, right? Yeah. All right. I actually never tried the goat cheese. Oh, you really? never tried it? Do you taste the goat cheese more than the other cheeses? <laughs> he took another bite. Okay, no. now it's time for the cheese nessa. Cheese nessa. <laughs> it's not good. It's great. Oh yay! It's great. Did this he was take good. it. Oh, he did. He's take taking it. Another, he another bite. bite. They both color came out beautiful. They both taste great. You know, they look like twins. <gasps> They're twins. They're twins. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go with the bacon and caramelized onion. <gasps> You guys both did great though. Thank you. Good job, good job. Now I'm now excited try to try it. mine. Cheers. It has like the perfect blend of like salty and sweet. Mine was really cheesy, so if you're a cheese lover, you would like mine. Let's try each other's then. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks the grilled cheese truck and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what kind of food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. This is the show where we get on some of the best food trucks in LA and learn how to make the food that they're famous for. Sean from the Made in Brooklyn Pizza Truck, and we're about to put our own spin on their pizza. So Sean, can you tell us what makes your food truck different from other food trucks in LA? Sure, so while the pizza wasn't, isn't made in Brooklyn, I was born and raised there. Oh, wow. So I've put an authentic New York pizzeria in a truck. So we make our dough there, we, put our, we have a, a giant mixer, we have two giant uh, Baker's Pride ovens, and it's the same equipment that you'd find in any uh, New York pizzeria. Oh my so God. exciting. I'm so I've excited. We've never, never had New York pizza, pizza before. No. Well, today's your day. Yay! I'm so excited we're having New York pizza in LA! Who doesn't love pizza? <laughs> so it's going to be so much fun. 
What is one of your most popular items? We're going to be making today our pepperoni stromboli. What is it? So we take the dough, it's like a pizza wrap, and then we stuff it with pepperoni and cheese, mm. bake it in the oven, and then when we serve it, cut it in half, and the cheese and the pepperoni just kind of like oozes out, which is kind of amazing. And then we serve it with a side of sauce to dip it in. All right, so that sounds amazing and delicious. So let's hop on the truck and put our own Merrill Twin spin on Made in Brooklyn's pizzas. So we're here on the food truck. So Sean, can you show us around? Yeah, of course. So we have our pizza making table right here. Um, all of our toppings are in there, sauce and cheese. Uh, this is where we cook our sauce. And this is the kind of where the action happens. Uh, these are our two dual deck uh, Baker's Pride ovens. Wow. Those are going. huge. I'm sure the stromboli requires dough, so let's get cooking. Absolutely, but first we gotta gear you up and get you some authentic Made in Brooklyn aprons. Yay! So first thing that we have to do is flour the dough a little bit so it's not so sticky. Move it over here to the paddle. So we wanna start making the crust. Oh. So we're gonna start creating that crust. Oh. Right? That's what's gonna rise up on the edges. You wanna keep doing that? Sure, make that I'll try. So there's obviously a technique to this. Is it, am I doing it? Yeah, yeah you got to go. It's got to be a little Perfect. easier. There. Oh, All right, I so now, a circle. Right, but now we're going to stretch it out. Oh. You're going to pick it up. This is what they do on TV. <laughs> this is, we are making pizza, you guys. We're going to make three stromboli. So here's our mozzarella cheese that we portion out. You guys want to take that? Yeah, I'll do it. And then we're going to put, put pepperoni on top. And... How many pepperonis do we put in there? Well, why don't you just grab a fistful and put it, throw it in there. Okay. And put it right on top throw of the cheese. Throw it in there, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just lay it right on top of the cheese. Like that? Yeah, no, put more. Oh, put more? As much pepperoni, if you like pepperoni, put as much as you like. I like that. That looks great. I'm trying to think of clever puns with stromboli, but I'm not, can't think of anything. Holy stromboli is a good one. Oh, holy stromboli! Nice one, Sean. <laughs> So next up, we're going to cut these into three. Okay. Make an eye lid. Oh. You guys want to try to wrap one? Yeah, oh, how do we wrap it? Should like, we just like do it? Video. Yeah, just try it, give it a shot. And... Okay, you do one and then I'll do one. I'll kind of go like that way. Oh, oh, okay. So like this. Yeah, perfect. Like that, maybe? That's great. <gasps> really? Yeah. Have I, look at my burrito. <laughs> you wanna try one? Yeah. I have to make mine better than Nessa's, but like, I feel like I'm gonna break the dough. Yeah, you are. Get, oh, oh, see, you did, you broke it. <laughs> that no, looks mine looks better. Okay. Mine definitely looks better. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it to you. Yours does look better. <laughs> Yay! So now let's see how it's really done. Oh. He sealed it. We probably sh Oh. Why didn't you tell us that? <laughs> I like yours. Ah, oh, see, he likes ours. Ours is just going to be really doughy. And we're going to put these in the oven. Okay. Okay. The first thing so we have I to do. Put them on. Hold on. Let, before we do that, let's put a little bit of oh, flour on here flour so, on it. It doesn't so it stick. doesn't stick. Okay. Put it right there. So, like, what's the difference between putting flour versus like putting oil so it doesn't stick? Oh, the oil will make it stick because really? of the wetness of the dough. The the um, flour kind of dries it out, and so it makes it a dry su surface versus a dry surface. I'm doing wrong at home. It depends on what. <laughs> In this case, you need you need the flour. You guys want to throw yeah, it in? Yeah, we'll do it yeah. together. Just be careful. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Just kind of put it, you know, there, and then kind of like shake it so lower. Keep going. You don't have to be scared. And then kind of like pull it, pull it back. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. There go. I thought we were gonna leave it on there. No, no, no. <laughs> I just got scared. So now we gotta give it about eight minutes, let them cook. Eight minutes? That's so quick. I mean, it is at 550, so I mean, <laughs> it's kinda hot. Okay, these They're look so amazing. crispy. And brown, and they smell so good. It smells like pizza. pizza. <laughs> like, you, like you know when you walk into a pizza store? This is what it smells like, but better. Just cut it right okay. in Okay. Get in there. You, 
use your muscles. Oh my gosh, here. Wow, look, you guys. Do you want to cut into yours? Yeah, I'll cut into mine. <laughs> uh, that, that's a oh. fail, Ronnie. This is harder than it looks. Yours looks good. Mine looks good. It's They're hot. hot, but they smell like fresh pizza being made. So we've got some sauce right here. So we just dip it in there. Dip it in there and eat it. And take a bite. Okay. I don't want to double dip. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Oh my. Mmm. This is so good. It's, but the sauce is really sweet. It's really sweet. And you know how sometimes really pepperoni yummy. is like too spicy? Mm -hmm. This is like perfect. It's like eating pizza, you know, when you fold it in half because it gets messy mm -hmm. and stuff. But this is like, I like this really a lot. You wanna know what it reminds me of? What? A more fancy and more delicious Hot Pocket. <laughs> so these were delicious, but now we're ready to put our own Merrill Twin spin on pizzas, but Brooklyn style. So I've already prepped your pizza dough, so you guys should sauce, cheese, and top it to your heart's content. Well, I want to go first. So I'm going to put some... You can put a little bit more, not too much more. You want to get a little bit more of that sauce from the middle and start pushing it out to the, to the edges. You got, you got a good technique. Yay! Now it's time for some cheese. Oh, okay. That's the pro technique. <gasps> the pro technique? I'm already a pro. There you go. Boom, you guys. This already looks great. And now it has to go in the oven. So in order to help it get off the, the paddle, He's just get a little bit of air. bubbling it. Just get a little bit of air on there so it doesn't stick. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm a professional pizza maker. Oh my gosh, this it's is heavy. heavy. Oh. All right, so put, it, so put it in. Keep going in. Now, oh. There you go. Pull it back. Oh my oh. god, that's perfect. <gasps> Let's close the oven. Really? That is absolutely perfect. Yay! <laughs> so I have to take the pizza out now. I'm that's really right. nervous, but he says Don't it's be. easier. It is easy. Come on. Then putting it in. Oh no, what I do, what I do. So you're gonna take this. Okay. You're gonna put it right under the pizza. You can do there it! There it is. Are right, you gonna put it oh, you're gonna put oh, it right over here? It's bubbling! Alright, I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm! <gasps> it's so good! Do you wanna try it? Yes, I'll just eat yours. It's so good. It's like. That's it's so really good. good. I'm so happy! I think this is the best thing I've ever made. So now I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with my pizza and put my own Veronica spin to it. That. Oh, oh, oh you no! ruined my pizza. You ruined my pizza. That's your, own, that's your own personal signature. Yeah, the cheese. This is like therapeutic. I could do this all day. Knowing that I'm making pizza and making people happy. That's a good job. Now it's topping time. Some pepperonis. Is that okay? How, oh, oh, I, is that too yeah. much? Only if it's more than you want. It's so hard to separate it all. That looks beautiful. Now. That's a pretty pizza. <laughs> I'm flattered, thank you. How much do you put? As much as you like. Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't. <laughs> I'll put a little bit of mushroom. And if you've never tried mushrooms before because you think it's weird and gross, give it a chance. I've given it a chance and I still think they're weird and gross. <laughs> Me too. Really? Oh hey! no! <laughs> so I'm already like, okay, I'm putting it on half the pizza. <laughs> She's already <laughs> lost the chance. I put it half of the pizza. So it looks like it's ready. Let's get it out of the oven. Okay. Good luck. Oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> Don't no, be no. scared. Yep, there you go. It's gonna be a little bit heavy. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Keep going, you got it. Okay, oh my gosh. You got it. Oh my you gosh. Uh, there it is. I did it. Wow. Mm, it smells really good. Okay, so I'm gonna try my pizza first. How's that? Is it good? 
the best pizza I've ever made. So ladies, both of your pizzas looked amazing. Thank you. I know. But I'm ready to judge which one tastes better. All right. Moment of truth. So I'm going to start with the original, authentic cheese. Oh! oh. That is hot. That's how you're supposed to eat it. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> is it good? That is a great slice of pizza. Yay! Let's try the, ooh, that is hot right out of the oven. That is really good. I've never put basil on a pepperoni before like that, so it's really delicious. But I'm from Brooklyn. I'm a traditionalist. I go with the old original cheese all the way. Yay! <laughs> no, you don't quit. He said yours was good. It was delicious. Well, thank you. It thank was, you. You're both good. I know. So, yay! Thanks, Made in Brooklyn, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. This is the show where we get on some of the best food trucks in LA and learn how to make the food that they're famous for. from the postcards truck and we're about to put our own spin on their delicious soul food. Okay, so Greg, could you tell us what makes your truck different from other trucks in LA? We are the only truck on the road that actually has fusion soul food that so it takes elements from Central America and African American culture, blends them together, and you can actually have it in a wrapper or a bowl and take it on the road or take it on the go to eat. That's so that awesome. makes it really cool. So what is soul food? So kind of think southern cuisine, but uh, soul food was created back in like the 18th century and it is actually the only food that's been attributed to being created in, in America. Really? It's like, yeah, it is, yeah. Wow. So now that we know a little bit more history about soul food, can you tell us what your most popular dish on your truck is? So the most popular dish on our truck actually happens to be this wrap right here. It's called the greatest. Why is it the greatest? It's the greatest because it's so savory. People love macaroni and cheese. So you've got macaroni and cheese and we, create the best kale you could possibly imagine. So Ooh, this is like imagine. this is like truly a home run happening. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to taste it. I'm really excited. So let's hop on the truck and put our own Meryl Twin spin on it. Let's do it. So we're here on the food truck with Greg. Yay! Yay, what's up? Yay. Can you show us <laughs> around? We've got our steam table. This is like the, the, the epicenter for all of the all of the great things that are happening on the truck. And as you can see right here, most people have brisket that's sliced. We do a pulled beef without any fat on it. So Perfect. it is like amazing. It takes us about uh, eight hours to cook the brisket. Oh wow. Brisket takes forever. Why we, so long? Um, because it's a, it's a very tough beef. Okay. And so it takes hours and hours to cook, especially if you want it tender, you want to be, and, and also because we prepare it, we're, we're pulling off the fat. Yeah. In order to make sure that we get all that fat off, we've make got to cook it, it quite a while. We also have mac and cheese. In here, we do a nice baked chicken too. Cool thing about us is uh, all the meats on our truck happen to be roasted or baked. Nothing's mm -hmm. fried. Okay. And then so all healthy. of our, it's very healthy. Yay. And then all of our, so yeah, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. And then all of our sides are vegetarian, so we don't use any animal products or even oil in cooking the sides. So that even makes that healthier too. So some of the other things we have on our menu, we do a kale. Um, again, it's a vegetarian kale. We do uh, collard greens. Kale is crinklier. Oh. Collard greens are a lot leafier. Uh -huh. So that's how you can kind of tell. If you're a new worker on the truck, usually people get it confused. My personal favorite is the kale because I love the texture and the taste of kale. Other thing we do, we do a dirty rice with um, with red beans, which is really, really something that's southern, that's, that's characteristic when you, when you think about soul. All the items on our menu were actually inspired by African-American historians. Oh, so of course the that. greatest celebrates Muhammad Ali. It was inspired oh. by him. So, so what we're gonna make today is the greatest. Okay, so since we're making the greatest, so we take our tongues and we drop our pulled beef brisket. Mm, that That's really smells good, huh? really good. And then you take a little kale. I try to get as much juice off as I possibly can, otherwise it's gonna be a really, really juicy wrap. And then we take like a nice hankering of mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese, okay? We put the mac and cheese on. Yummy! And this is one thing that's really like our secret sauce. We um, have some secret, some special seasonings that we've created. I can smell that like it. nobody it else has. Good. And we sprinkle this on every wrapper bowl. Mm, this smells like bliss. <laughs> 
I don't even know what it's I've never smelled like. anything like amazing. it before. I can't even you, like, explain awesome. it. After we've done that, we wrap it. And this so is generally, the key part. This is the wrapping. key part. <laughs> so generally what I do is I take the corners in, okay. and then I wrap this, I push the food in, wrap it around. Oh my gosh. Take it to the corner like this. Uh -huh. So you've got a beautiful, That's beautiful, beautiful wrap. You take the ends, and it's essentially the same, same thing. thing and just roll it. Bam. Wow. And once we've done that, we take a tray, put the tray over here, we take a knife, we cut it in half, mm -hmm. we then open it, put it on here, some more secret sauce or seasonings. So, guys, look at that. That's get a sniff of it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Isn't that wonderful? I am yeah, so excited. So, to try this it. is, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? There you go. Ooh, so, here's hot. one side for you. Okay. One side for you. Yay. There you go. All right, here we go, you guys. Gotta dig in. It's hot. All right. Okay, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Good bite. Oh my gosh. So the meat is really tender. I've never had this tender of brisket before. It is so good. It's very sweet. The flavor is really good. And then the kale adds like a salty flavor to it. And it like balances out really well. And the mac and cheese is mac and cheese. And mac and cheese is always good. And it makes it, it just adds to it. And the secret uh, seasoning uh, amazing. is bomb. That's amazing. amazing. I love it. It's so good. So I can see why your food truck is noticed by so many prestigious places like the Food Network. This is amazing and it's so healthy and it's just awesome. I'm I'm blown away. Me too. Alright, so now it's time to put our Merrill Twin Spin on the postcards truck. <laughs> Let's do it. Ba -ba. So what we had was amazing and now I'm excited because I'm going to make my own, but I'm going to be making a bowl instead of a wrap. and. I don't know what to pick. There's so many options, but I know he said he likes the kale the best, so I'm putting kale in mine. Okay, rice. I don't know if you have anything like this on the menu, but now I'm going to add the macaroni. Now I'm going to do the kale. Okay, nope. Okay, and then the beef. And that's it. Well, <laughs> this is my finished product, the runny bowl. All right, so I'm going to do a wrap, and I kind of want to do it yeah. like the greatest, but I'm going to put my own spin on it. <laughs> so here we go. All right, got my tortilla. <laughs> I'm actually going to try some chicken. Ooh, Ooh this is some really juicy chicken. I need more. <laughs> Yum! It smells really good. That chicken smells so... Oops! I dropped it in the meat. I'll pick it up. Is that okay? There. Now I want to do some rice with it. So instead of doing kale, because she did kale, I'm going to do collard greens. Alright. I don't think I've ever tried collard greens before. A lot of people traditionally cook it with like either pork or turkey, whatever. We don't cook it with any um, any meat. And so now for one of the final touches, it I'm going. It looks good. It looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Should I? Oh, should I not add? No, anything go for else? it. Keep going. I want to. So okay. far, it looks great. So I want to try adding just a little beef to give it this yummy flavor because it was really good. So I'm just going <laughs> to take like a little bit. Not a lot. I don't know. Mixing two different flavored meats. But look, I don't, it's going to taste good because look, it's not a lot. It has like that savory it's like sweetness. like a kamikaze wrap now. Yeah, that's what it is. And then <laughs> add a little bit of secret seasoning. <laughs> this is the Nessakazi wrap. Yeah. Okay, now <laughs> let's see if you can actually wrap it. Oh yeah, let's see that. This is how you did it, right? And she took really good notes. Yeah, she did. Wow. Okay, and then like this. I think I'm doing it, guys. Good job. I did it! She the Nessa Kamikaze All wrap. right. 
So ladies, these look bomb, I have to say. You guys did a pretty amazing job. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. I know mine's going to taste really good and really healthy. <laughs> you'll you'll like mine. Ah, uh, you'll like mine because you said you like kale. So which one do you want to try first? Let's try this one, because okay. I actually love the chicken. Really? Yeah, cool. I do. And let's just try the chicken. That's amazing. Really? It's amazing. I love it with the dirty rice. What and it's about, good with the greens. What about the, the beef? You put such a light touch of beef in there until I don't even taste it. Really? I don't really taste the beef, but, but the chicken is so flavor. tender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Yay. This is excellent. This is really tasty. Try mine. So, so let me try yours now. Kamikaze. All right. So that was definitely off the charts. This one right here looks really savory. I'm going to mix all this together. Yeah, you got to get everything. And so I can get the rice and the kale and the brisket and the, and mac. And the mac. And cheese. So let's get a nice bite in here. Ready? This is super amazing. Super oh. amazing. Super, super amazing. amazing. Oh no. Mm. So which one would you say is the better one? The wrap. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Am I just not a good cook? Even with the collard greens? I, I love the, yeah, I loved it all. Really? It was really well, tasty. Well, I want to try my creation. If you think really it was tasty. that good, I want to try mine. Mine was good. He said yours they was good. They were both good. good. All, all right. right, now for the moment of truth. Are you ready? Yes. Cheers. <laughs> oh, good. Boy. Mm. Mine is really good. It tastes so healthy. And like, even though it sounds like a weird combination of foods, like the best combination of foods. Like if you're gonna combine foods, like the, these are the foods to combine. Here, try mine. All right, it's kind of like a burrito. One, two, cheers, cheers. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. But this is good too. Your decision was hard. Yeah, it was very difficult. It was tough. It was really tough. Thanks Postcards and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what food trucks you want to see us get on next time. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics on Awesomeness TV. So we're here with Joe from the Steamy Bun Truck. So Joe, can you tell us what makes your truck different from other food trucks here in LA? It's Southeast Asian cuisine, and it's something different that everybody should try. What is a steamy bun? It's actually wheat bread, but it's steamed instead of baked. <gasps> so just like any other thing that's steamed, it's fluffy, warm, and soft. Okay, okay, cool. Well, let's get on the truck. I'm ready to put our own Merrill Twin spin on this truck. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are, Are you, you ready? ready? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> We are right. going to create something amazing. So what I'm going to be making is I'm going to be making something with this pancake, but it's not an actual pancake. Breakfast pancake. It? It's a uh, actually like a uh, Chinese flatbread. Chinese flatbread. Or uh, paratha they call them. A lot of cuisine also carries that. Yes. Uh, so it's flaky, buttery, and really crunchy when okay. it's done. So go ahead and flip it over. There we go. So. For mine, I'm gonna put chicken in the pancake. Normally, uh, a hole like this, we'll put in a bun, mm -hmm. but on a pancake like this, we'll, we'll normally slice it. Okay. So you could put strips across the uh, pancake. Okay. Top it off. Wait in strips. There you go. Go ahead and top it off with some uh, cucumbers. Oh, some tomato soup. Tomato soup. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what I really liked on the pork belly one mm -hmm. was the peanuts. Let's see how, I wonder if that's gonna taste interesting. And then maybe some cilantro. Okay. Then sauces. Go ahead and put a little bit of crema on it. What is this? Crema. Sriracha, a little bit? Yeah, a little sriracha. Okay. All right, so I think I'm going to make a burger with the pillow bread. I call it pillow bread because it's literally soft like a pillow. Yes. I'm just going to put stuff on it. All right, so I got to pick out the right bun. <gasps> it's so fluffy. Oh, I wish you guys could feel this. It feels kind of like memory foam. Okay, <laughs> so we'll let the um, burger melt and the uh, while, we, while it's being cooked, we'll go over to the, uh, and you can dress it up. And then we'll top the uh, burger at the I'm going to dress it up, make it look fashionable. Okay. 
I think, could I actually do some of the barbecue sauce? I'm gonna make a smiley face. Now, oh, here we go. I am going to put some tomatoes on there. I'll put like one. These were really good. I feel like it'll taste pretty well. I'm covering up the smiley face, sorry. Now, I'm gonna grab some cilantro because that was really, really good. And that is my burger. All right, so here are our creations. What is yours called? The pancake chicken saute. Mine is called the burger of dreams. All right, so you get to judge our creations to see whose is better. Are you excited? Somewhat. <laughs> Have you ever, is there anything close to these on your menu? Oh yes. As a matter of fact, my chef would always come up with something different. Oh really? Yes. So is there something close. chips mm. on burgers? No, not yet. That would be the first. <laughs> well, you know, you always got to peanuts? A... peanuts on the chicken? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm original. Simple. Mm -hmm. This is so dramatic. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> we need dramatic music. Mm. You're hard to read. <laughs> there you go. Oh gosh, I'm nervous about mine. I, oh, my bad. He's trying the burger of dreams. Hmm. No nightmare. No nightmare? Mm. <gasps> oh, that's oh. good. Right. He's like not he's, showing he's any like not emotions. showing any emotions. Maybe we like don't win at all. all right. Both are good. Both are very unique. Okay. Thank, okay. thank you, thank I might, you. I might carry one on my menu. <gasps> really? Oh no. Something different. I uh, like both, okay, but I have to pick um, the burger. <gasps> no way! What? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because she was unique. I never topped my my buns with uh, shrimp chips. And that's something you know different. It's you know, people, good, yeah. people, people, people would top them their sandwiches with fries or whatever. Yeah. Shrimp chips is not not a bad idea. All right, so now it's time to try our own creations. Oh man. Okay, ready? One, two. Whoa, the shrimp chips add a lot of flavor to it. And crunchiness from mm -hmm. the. Um, Pillowy like bread. Mine's okay. It's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cheers. How do you eat this? Hers definitely won. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with the 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 bun, the steamy bun. Thank you. Uh -huh. Please tell me more. Mm -hmm. What? You just took another bite on mine. I think what really helps my burger is that the patty is already really, really delicious. So perhaps to you, <laughs> but the delicious patty, it's like really, really sweet. It has like a lot of flavor and it's really juicy too. Right. And then when you add the cheese and then the chip and then the sauce, it's just like a ton of random flavors, but it's like a really good mixture of flavors. Yeah. And mine, I really liked the pancake outside. Like it was such an interesting like combination. It tasted really good. Yeah. And the chicken was great too. It was, it was good. Hers was better. <laughs> Thanks, Steamy Buns, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what foot checks you want to see us get on next time. Bye. Mm, so good. It's delicious. It's so yummy. I know, right? Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Food Truck Fanatics. So we're here with Grant and Essie from the Bison Burger Truck. So guys, can you tell us a little bit about your truck and what makes it different from other trucks here in LA? Well, what we like to do is uh, bring healthier products and uh, products with awareness actually to people. And uh, we carry bison, elk, venison, wild boar, wagyu, uh, and a variety of seasonals that we will have uh, time to time. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever tried any of those kinds of meats at all. So let's hop on and put our own spin on their delicious burgers.
let's try it. Oh okay. my gosh, I don't want to like ruin it. It looks like beautiful. Okay, I'll take the first bite. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Mmm. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> what? Have you guys ever had bison before? Mmm. -mm. This is so good. Why well, don't you try some of the, your own Brussels sprouts? Oh! Here we go. One, two, three. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> So we loved the bison burger, but now it's time to put our own spin onto this truck. So we're going to create two different types of burgers. I'm going to be doing elk, and she's going to be doing wagyu. What, what is that? Wagyu is the best type of beef you can get. So our burgers are made. Let's move on to our masterpieces. Mwah. All right, so um, I'm not sure what I should put on here. I'm gonna put on some tomatoes. I wanna put a pineapple on mine. How do I cut this? So we're Please. Gonna do with our pineapple. And just cut around. Okay. And then, all right. I'm gonna do some of. It's pretty good. Just wanna get all those little brown pieces off the ends. I'm gonna put oh. some lettuce yeah, on it. There. All right. And then what we like to do. So we like to toss it on here a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put just a little bit of garlic on mine. Just a little. Like this. Okay. Oh. Oh my. Okay. So garlic. I like onion. Okay. Maybe right. some of these. <laughs> Voila! Masterpiece. Masterpiece. So here's here's the Wagyu patty. It's all it's all ready. Oh, the Wagyu patty. And Wagyu! Oh, oops. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, and who's okay. using the cheese? Uh, who's uh, using the cheese disc before it gets too small? I have cheese. It's right here. Oh, Scoop okay. it up. Okay. What about the pineapple? There you go. And then turn it upside down on top of the. There it is. Oh, Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> I think the pineapple is going to add a nice touch. All right. I think. Oh, there we go. Pretty. There we go. There we go. Here are our Merrill Twins burgers. <laughs> we have so Wagyu have... and onion bun with uh, uh, cheese crust. Hmm. Yeah, I don't Let's know. Try this. Hopefully it tastes good. Oh, that's the elk. That's the elk. Mm. Is that good? It is elk and it is actually good. Really? <laughs> it's actually good. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Okay so... okay, so now try mine. The Wagyu with pineapple and arugula and caramelized onion. Bon appetit to me. Mmm. Juicy. Juicy. On the dock. <gasps> the Wagyu wins. <gasps> I win? <laughs> Yay! So now the winner gets crowned. Oh, hold on. We have to decrown her from the... And she gets to upgrade to the bison hat. <laughs> Very nice. Oh she is our new mascot. Did you try your burger? No, I didn't. I want to try mine. Ready? 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 And go. Mmm. This is yummy. This is definitely something. The pineapple adds an interesting touch. Like, it's really good. This is delicious. Let me try yours. Want to try mine? Yeah. I almost ate my glove. Mmm. It does add an interesting touch. I think I might like yours better. <gasps> Something you actually liked, but mine is still good. Thanks, Bison Burger Truck, and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to see what truck we get on next time. Bye! Bye. From breakfast burritos to nitrogen ice cream, Vanessa and Veronica Merrill challenge each other to create their own versions of food truck favorites. Who will win? It's Merrill versus Merrill. Here are the top seven best food truck fanatic moments. The first moment on our list gave us some serious pucker. The Merrill twins were challenged to create their own versions of lemonade. Vanessa created a green apple and cinnamon flavored lemonade that, well, you'll see. A little more cinnamon? Yeah. Wow. Mm.
<laughs> it's really tart too. That is sour. <laughs> it's really sour. Oh, seriously sour. What goes better than a burger and fries? Vanessa discovers it's not so easy to make one half of our favorite duo. Oh gosh, what is this? So this is the fry cutter. We make all of our fries fresh here on the garbage truck. The potato in there. I'm not that strong like this. Yep. Okay guys, are you ready? I'm just gonna put all my weight. Keep going. I'm trying. It's... I can't do it. There we go. Okay. Looks like we'll be in the gym tomorrow for arm day. I did it, guys. Our next moment is a new dance created by the Merrill sisters. After coating their chicken wings with sauce, Veronica and Vanessa shake to coat. I feel like a professional just, chef. I feel like I'm just like lifting them. One of them won't even like. Wait, um, he was doing like this kind of thing. It's like there a, we go. It's called the chicken wing bowl dance. Chicken. Just remember, you saw it here first. Maple syrup in a breakfast burrito. Veronica knows what's up. So we're going to do the taste test now because my burrito is warm and the syrup is kind of going everywhere. So we're just going to do it now. So when you take a bite, remember the taste because you're going to have to try hers and you're going to have to choose whose is better. I'm not sure I'll be able to forget it. So let's <laughs> give us a shot. Oh my god. Oh, and there's syrup on it. Mm. It's concerning that it tastes good. <laughs> Now, if only Vanessa would get on board. Our fifth favorite moment involves ice cream. But not just any ice cream. Nitrogen ice cream. Let's turn this on, and here comes the fun. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow, it's so cold. So as that's boiling off, it's freezing the ice cream. And oh. Once the smoke's gone, there's no more there, so it's totally safe. Oh, wow. It's like popping. So you hear it starting to ice up now? Yeah. So just a little bit. You don't want it too much because <gasps> it can't get too hard. Whoa. Now we have ice cream. What? That's it? That's it? That's it. That was so easy. It's like so simple. It is very simple. So then we take our ice oh cream. My God. We have our bowl. <gasps> ice, ice, baby. Next up. Ever tasted a bison burger? Let's try it. Oh okay. my gosh, I don't want to like ruin it. It looks no. like beautiful. Okay, I'll take the first bite. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Looks like the twins found their new favorite burger. Have you guys ever had bison before? Mmm. -mm. This is so good. Last on our list is more ice cream. But first, Veronica has questions. Dirty mint chip? Is it dirty? It, it is a little dirty. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's dirty because it has real <gasps> mint leaves in it. Oh. And mint leaves are edible? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we had mint leaves in our garden. <laughs> Whatever it is, this ice cream sounds tasty AF. Learning all kinds of new things on the cool house truck. These are just some of the best food truck fanatic moments. Did we miss your favorite? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. See you next time.